Good afternoon, folks. If this is your second stream of the day with me, welcome back and thank you for spending time with me. If this is your first stream of the day with me, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for spending time with me. Beep! Hello, Cloudy, my dear. How are you doing? Thanks for stop. Thanks for spending time with me. <laughs> I appreciate your company. We're getting ready to start some rumor. Are you playing more uh, Graveyard Keeper today? Or are you doing your? Or are you doing grinding stuff in FF14? Because I know that's also what you were up to. I think I don't know, but welcome, welcome, folks, and welcome, Cloudy. Cloudy is my co-streamer for Tales of the Abyss. You should definitely check them out. Um. Heck yeah! Sounds good. Uh, before we begin playing more RimWorld today, I'm still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail and, and get LGBTQ folks out of jail. If you want to support that, I've got a donation button below the stream, an exclamation point donate command, and a QR code you can scan that will be on the bottom of the screen. That will take you to the donation page. I don't receive any compensation for fundraising. I just can fundraise and help people. So... Any support, donation, or otherwise is greatly appreciated. And when we're turning this off, I'll give Cloudy a shout out. And we'll see what sort of clip it digs up. Yeah, Randy's. Yeah. Make sure I spelled that right. Before Randy, Randy Chaos, let's see what, what's going on with the clip here. Uh, uh, oh! You're wide open. Go, Giga, Gaga, Gigo! Ah! Oh, <laughs> <No. laughs> I hate you. Don't you got Snackeretsu armored. <laughs> oh, that's a banger. That that's that that's oh, triggering. That. <laughs> Ain't that a fucking reminder of old school Yu-Gi-Oh? It's like, oh hey, <laughs> guess what I have? <laughs> oh Jesus! It's like, oh. You have an empty board. Your your life points are mine. Mirror force, bitch. <laughs> oh, what a time to be alive. And we're still up oh, there, it goes. I was gonna say we're still waiting for Rimworld to load, but yay! <laughs> that was an uh, that was an excellent fucking clip. All right, I can't remember what we were doing last time, but whatever it is, we're probably gonna do more of it. I think yeah there was a, there was a child Genevieve had a little bean here little head big body uh, we're kind of getting more established you made this bigger I remember we started growing stuff indoors Now what we could do is we could put another solar panel or two up over here so that we could like have more of this and then we could just not have to grow food in this area at all. Because yeah, the, the rice from this has been able to sustain us for a considerable amount of time. Let's see what all the characters are queued up to do. Cutting stone blocks, yeah, we have him doing that because yeah. Uh, you're researching, you have an inspired creativity for your whole five skill points of crafting. A uh, lady is cleaning dirt. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a bit, a little bout of food poisoning at some point. I don't know when or why or how, but it started happening, so I was like, yeah, we need to, uh, <clears throat> better manage that. Like, this room is sterile, but I guess somehow it still got dirty in some way. Uh, let's see. What is Cal? Oh, Callie is just kind of the... He just runs on halls and cleans stuff, I think. Um, it is currently winter, and there's a gentle snow. Genevieve's got a shoot frenzy for her non-existent shooting skill. Like, if we look at Jenny's stuff... She, I mean, it's not... It's four, but it's not super helpful. I usually have her hide when we get raided. Uh, what else we got going on? Um, donkey! We got donkeys. We got a boy. A girl. 
<laughs> oh, I was I was laughing my ass off and um, basically talking about like mirror force and how that's and stuff like that. Where it's like, ah, oh. like literally that meme of you just activated my trap card, bitch. <laughs> oh, what a time to be alive. He, you, you got fucking got, my friend. <laughs> If, 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 that, if that computer player could have properly emoted how they felt, they'd probably be grinning ear to fucking ear. Because <laughs> that's kind of how you would do things in real life as well. You'd be just grinning like a fucking... Like a maniac. Yeah, just, just, just draw you, like, just draw you, your VTuber person, looking distraught at the Sakurizo armor and then just... Turning back and smiling smugly as fuck. <laughs> kind of like that thing of like, the smart kid, why they're wondering they're losing a chest and like me eating the chest pieces kind of deal. <laughs> I might move this room over here and then make an even bigger freezer and then have another freezer here. And then for the sake of stability, we can, um... Now we haven't really used this room for anything. It's just been kind of been earmarked for, um... We've had it earmarked for a throne room for a while, but just not really used it for much, so... I think our first thing for today, let's measure this out. It's gonna be seven. So let's see. Oh, perfect. That's actually perfect, and we can um, move these walls right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's it's yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see, that is nine. So let's see what that must be. Oh, this room is slightly bigger than this one. Just because I have more walls there, that's fine. Just more. That's just less we have to build. Because I want to make this fridge bigger. Because I, I feel like that'd be wise to have more storage. It, we've already got probably more storage space than we need, but yeah. Oh, excuse me. I could also move the kitchen, like kind of somewhere else too. Like I could nestle it in over here. And have this be a bigger dining room, which it's probably smart to do anyway. Um, let's start making preparations for that, and we can. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm uh, sorry about that. I'm considering just turning fucking ads off if possible because I very rarely get a payout anyway from ads because Twitch is just very stingy anyway, and it's not like I'm. Oh, you can't? Well, fuck. If I could reduce the amount of ads, then I would, because... I I, I'll be honest, I'm not really streaming for the money, because there's no way in hell I'd be making enough money to be sustainable with it. So I'm not really... I'm not, I'm not in the game to do that, honestly. Yeah, I think I'll move the, uh, the kitchen area like right here so let's see two that's kind of what needs to be free space so I could start um, putting blocks there and I could just move these later but um, I think what we need to do first is get this moved over we'll close all this in because this is gonna eventually just be freezer more freezer space so I'll start with this part first. So let's grab these walls and move them. Mm. Right, right, exactly. Like I wish it, I wish there was another service or like place that was like better for creators. And streamers and the like because yeah it's yeah let's see 
Oh, we have a good amount of these uh, granite blocks. I was worried about just building freely, building willy nilly. But no, I shouldn't be worried because we got a lot of a lot of blocks that we can use, and we might as well. <clears throat> And we're going to start trying to encase our, our outer walls like this with double layered uh, blocks to help defend against possible sappers that might try to come in and, well, sap walls. Because some enemies will have the ability to break through walls more easily. And so del at least delaying those kind of enemies is a good idea. But I'm guessing Devo will probably start springing into action pretty soon let's see Callie's doing relaxing and gonna go consume some food he's researching right now too let me look at our bills I'm pretty sure we got okay it's clean now so let's uh reconnect that and have a uh, huntsman go cook some food Oh, we're missing protein! Okay. <laughs> Fucking Agretsuko. I remember when that came out, I was like, really, it was like, oh, it's fucking like death metal cute Sanrio thing. But I kind of like lost interest after some point. Can't even remember why. Okay, lady's dragging some blocks over to here. She's not the going to be the primary builder. Neither is Callie, but that gives Callie something to do. Okay. It's not like super high priority this gets done right now anyway, because this is going to be a throne room. Oh, Randy, you shouldn't have. Oh, God, that's a lot of snow hairs. Uh, they are uh, a manhunting snow hair pack, so we should probably have people be inside instead of outside. Let's make sure everyone's accounted for inside, inside, beans inside, over's asleep. Let's see. I'll, I'll manually go to everyone to make sure they're not outdoors. Honestly, I could probably just have someone stand here. And uh, all the snow hairs would probably just come in and... Fighting par... Why are you fighting par... Yeah, chaos immediately. You detected a component mining site. And you're controlled by Pulp Mio Clock. Sure. Here, here come all the worst fucking snow hairs. Uh, let's take care of these snow hairs real quick. Let's have Huntsman just stand right here and they should, uh, why are you high as, oh, he's got food poisoning. That's why I wasn't having him cook stuff. Well, that's fine. He can just kind of hang out and be, uh, Yep, so now all those snow hairs are gonna they can detect through the they can pathfind to him, so they're gonna go through all these traps. And some of these might actually be usable for food, but most of them probably aren't. Uh let's see. Yeah, that one's rotting, so that one's not usable for food. Some of them aren't quite dead, but most of them will probably be dead. Hello, Blank. Uh, the rim, the rimming world is doing fine. We just got a uh, manhunter pack raid of snow hares that we are proceeding to let run through our trap system. I think that's all of them. Yep, we, we've got someone that takes good care of it, and it gives us tons of wood, so... We're, I'm a big fan of the Garelin tree, and so is Olabar, one of our colonists. He's the plant man. He's a gay plant man. Look at him. He's, he's sleeping real happy and gay. Good for him. Uh, this is, uh, I think this is uh, the temperate forest. It's winter right now. Give him a big kiss on his big stinky nose. Yep, he is a, he's 54 years old. 
gay, abrasive, and ascetic. <laughs> He's a preacher in our uh, cult. The cult of Lemur. The reason it's called the cult of Lemur, Lemur is because, well, we got somebody named Lemur that, in here that is dead. She got killed by a fucking smiled on. So I renamed the, the I used the dev mode to rename our religion to the cult of Lemur. All right, well, Huntsman can go to sleep now. And this little child named Bean is the offspring of Genevieve, who is a genie, and Huntsman, who's a baseliner. All right, so snow hairs are no longer a concern. And we have, we have like a billion woods, so replacing these traps is not even gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna lie, Smash. <laughs> Yeah, she's cu she's cute. The funny funny thing is like um like Lemur died and Huntsman was married to Lemur, so he was in like a very big depressive episode for like like half a year almost. But then like as soon as he hooked up, oh the hippie dude, yeah, fair. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like as soon as Huntsman hooked up with Genevieve, she got pregnant like immediately. Even though I set the setting to. Uh, Try not to do that. They, they're just like, you know what? Fuck you. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna squirt one out, and here we go. Their name is Bean, and they're probably gonna be bald. Let's look at the, see if we can look at the genes. Uh, is it social? Well, uh, is this okay? Well, mid black hair, skin color. We don't really know what this child is gonna look like yet. See. Huntsman should be almost over his food poisoning, so that when he gets up, he can uh, work. He's also the the hippie, the hippie dude is not only our best shooter, but he's also our best. The, he's also the colonist colony's cook. Mid hair, your hair is looking a little mid. <laughs> Olivar is gonna go eat some food. Inspired surgery. That is actually interesting because she is our colonist's our colony's doctor. She's she's our she's our our, our gay abrasive doctor. <laughs> we started as like a tribe, and she just kind of came out. She just came out of the sky. She's like little world surgeon. The hair isn't looking. <laughs> the hair's not looking mid. It's just mid. Oh, she's gonna go breastfeed, I think. Yep. Which helps keep her from having another kid. As well as just... Okay, he's... Well, <laughs> as far as the abrasive goes, I didn't pick that, but I did try to make sure they were all at least a little fruity. Let me, let's look. Let's see. Let's see, Olabar is abrasive gay. Huntsman is kind and bisexual. Lady is abrasive gay. Fruit, no, we got a whole fruit tree here. Uh, Genevieve is a nimble bisexual wimp. <laughs> uh, Diva is a, torture, a gay tortured artist. <laughs> and um, Callie here is um, a, a bisexual pessimist. <laughs> God. And Bean is a bisexual baby apparently. <laughs> Good job, Bean. Good job being a bisexual baby. <laughs> Not sure how that really works, but you know, whatever. All right, where's, oh, he's still asleep. How's your food poisoning? It's gone perfect. Now you can cook without fucking all the food up. Cause this food out here, I think it somehow got food poisoning in it. I don't know how, we have a sterile kitchen. I call the genders, but none of the genders like me. Well, so far, uh, Callie's not had, uh, much... Uh, I don't know who this is. Um, I don't know who this person is. It's someone in the world somewhere. And if we can find and recruit them, them then cool, but if otherwise, meh. Uh... Now this guy's good at melee, and that's about the only reason we. Ha oh, his social's good. 
I think he's our best social as well. So he's a traitor and um, a melee fighter, and that's kind of and a hauler. He kind of, I kind of make him just haul stuff. He's hauling he's hauling snow hairs to Splash Mountain, which is this kind of water place that I have corpses go to so they can rot faster. Got a bunch of rocks. I got some mechanoid corpses. Uh, Huntsman is about to he's butchering, and then he can start cooking. Cut up turtle. He's stop eating baby food. What do you no? Stop eating baby food. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna tell the adult to stop fucking eating baby food. <laughs> All right. Um, no baby food, please. Uh, the baby will eat baby food, but you don't need to be eating baby food, you fucking weirdo. Put it back. Put it back. It's a disliked food. I wonder why. Probably because it's for fucking babies. You fucking clown. <laughs> I mean, it, I think this was, like, made with, like, mmm, tasty. Yeah, it's, uh, made with just corn. It's literally just corn baby food. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, that sounds awesome. Even though I dislike baby food, I'm going to eat this anyway. Admittedly, we didn't have any other meals left. So that's kind of the only, like, food Gabba. thing. Gabba! Thank you for the resub. Gabba. Gabba. Gabu. Gabu. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Hug Dispenser. It's nice seeing you today. We're playing more RimWorld. We've got... Bunch of gay people being disasters. If Huntsman or Cook here don't just try to eat baby food, I had to stop him. Well, if you think about it, a baby is kind of like a shit vehicle. It's just a vehicle for poop, basically. <laughs> You're one shot to do triple GABA. I can respect it. Item produced wood. Yeah, these little mon these little things make make like 32 wood every. Uh, they make 32 wood every two days, and that's an obscene amount of wood. <laughs> a shit vehicle and a vehicle that is shit. Well, the baby's not exactly shit, but it's definitely a vehicle for shit. <laughs> like look, look at that little shit vessel. <laughs> Oh, Diva's actually made good progress on this building. Good job, Diva. Level 12 construction. It, yeah, the baby is definitely a shit vehicle. You're not gonna get much mileage out of, the, of riding the baby around. It's not gonna get you, get you very far. Okay, and now this door can move over here. This room is gonna be, well it says it's a tomb right now because that's their, their little uh, chapel area is considered a tomb because of Mar uh, Lemur's, um, you know, presence in here. Diva, oh you're gonna eat some food? Oh, I guess. I guess you're allowed to eat food. What? Hauling with all these traps. My trap hallway here was a little less dense bef before last stream, but like we had a mechanoid raid and they kind of went through a lot of the traps. So I was like, yeah, this needs to be longer. Plus the uh, little dryads here. M dryads make a ton of wood, so I don't mind having just a bunch of traps that are pretty disposable. Have all these little hallways through here, so I can get through pretty easily. Um, so now we're gonna move. Uh, let's have these cut or chopped by Olabar.
right. And now we can have this all move over. Now, normally in vanilla, you can't move the move walls like this. That's true too. Um, at some point soon, we could probably get the. Um, I think we're working on microelectronics for. No, we're working on guns, so I can have some cool guns. Cause right now our our best kind of deal is either stuff we found or stuff that we got from raiders. We've got some melee weapons there. We've got some assorted guns here, and like flash grenades and shit like that. And smile don teeth, which aren't really good for weapons, I don't think. Eh, yeah, not super good for weapons. And then just a bunch of other stuff. I didn't know how OP these shelves were. I don't know if they recently made them really good or if they've always been this good, but they can hold like. Each spot can hold three things, and it keeps the room from being as hideous. I mean, it's still pretty ugly, but... Yeah. Look at all these bones. <laughs> I got lots of bones. But yeah, like, I, I could see me selling off a good amount of wood if need be for some silver. What is the baby, do what is the baby doing? Oh, it's, it's mental state is giggling. Okay. Good crib. Very entertained. Okay, I wasn't sure when they made the shelves super OP, but... I mean, previously, I think it, it still did the thing of, like, where they, um... Made it things not as ugly in the room because they kept them off the floor. But, yeah, I guess super recently they did the, uh... The stacking. We got some weed. We got some weed. We'll be growing some more smoke leaf when it's, the season is here as well. Okay, Diva's fixing up our traps from the um, snow hare invasion. Well, I'm glad someone decided to move one wall. All right, are you able to move these? Yeah, how about you... Um, Get this fixed up there, Huntsman. I'd rather have this closed off before somebody decides they want to come into our base. We're going to be expanding this freezer further up this way. Because you can never have enough freezer space. Need warm clothes, uh -huh, whatever. Yeah, I think they still do that. I remember that be that used to be like the main reason to have shelves is so that stuff wouldn't like go like rot away or whatever. Like you could have like just stuff outside or like food or whatever. And honestly, they're probably sh I mean I don't really mind having this room in here be kind of like the storeroom for all the stuff like block bricks and steel. <laughs> Wish Huntsman could pick me up and put me down like one of those walls. Dude's pretty fit. I'm trying to think of if... Because uh, we're going to move this little kitchenette area here. Kind of up here soon, at some point. And we might end up moving this little hallway bit as well. Maybe I might just keep it here and just have like this be like m like the mass over storage area for food. Because this is where I have the meals and baby food or whatever stored. They might actually. Um, let me see if I can temporarily build one and see if the... Um, Cause we, we've got we got quite a bit of bones too, and as we hunt more animals, then we're just gonna get more. Uh, let's see. I think it was security. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Bone spike trap. Let's put that down, and we'll see if it's uh. Let's see. Melee damage eighty. Spring chance one hundred percent. 
Okay, armor penetration. 80, 100, 120. Let's compare that to one of these. Oh, wow, yeah, those bone traps would uh, be much better, actually. So let me see. Um, how about we... Um, We'll start mixing in bone traps. And as the wood ones get broken, they'll eventually all be replaced. Yeah, the wood drop does 40, but the, the bone one does 80 and has better uh, armor penetration. Yeah, we've got trap melee damage 80 for the bone one. And if we look at the wood one here, it's four, it's t twice as much damage for bones. No, you're good. Um, and our armor penetration for wood is 60, and the bone one is double. So, yeah, basically these bone traps are twice as strong as the wood ones. So, probably better to... We'll, we'll still use these wood ones up, just because, I mean, they're already built. That'd be silly to not use them, but... Oh, yep, Olmar, Ol Olamar, Olabar is playing with the tree out here. He keeps it nice and uh, nice and tended. Don't need to keep it this high, but having that this high up on the connection strength seems to kind of make it take a lot less stuff to maintain. Olo smash! He's he's he is the sole plant cutter for the colony. And, so like all this stuff is his domain. He's gonna plant all this shit. I mean his plant skill is like 16 at this point. He's been doing it for a while. Diva, please don't. <laughs> don't get yourself stuck between traps. That's why I have these doors, but then they're still like like, hmm, I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of want to like get hit by a trap. Kelly flirted with Diva by subtly complimenting her diet. Diva turned him down probably because bitch is gay, so she's not really into that. Unfortunate. Diva more like Dumba. Yeah, I I I, I saved this person because her name was Diva. I was like, oh, that's perfect, and she's a, a waster. Which means she needs, um, this is her her gene. She's super immune, total anti-toxic lungs. Like, she can just breathe in, like, toxic gas and toxic fallout. When she's exposed to pollution, she gets stat bonuses. She's kind of bad at a lot of stuff. Um, she has a psychic dependency, so she needs, like, stuff like, yeah, she needs droogs. So I have this uh, psych. I've been making psychic teeth for her to consume, to have a very uh, safe way. Other people can use it too, so it's kind of like perfect, perfect thing because people can use it if their mood mood's bad or whatever. To have a nice time. Oh great, more wood. Yeah, it's like watching ants run around. We got these donkeys that are slowly but surely kind of just reproducing as well. Uh, female, male, male. We're finally starting to get more girl donkeys. I'll probably keep like, I'll probably keep as many girls as I can and have like two boys, and then the rest can uh, be made into um, uh, donkey skin bags. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I don't remember specifically myself. Let's see, there's carriers, which I guess haul stuff around. There's bark skin, which are kind of like tank creatures. Clawers that can do good DPS. Woodmakers, which make wood. There's the medicine one, and then, yeah, there's the berry. And I guess if you have um, a special uh, meme in your um, ideology, you can make Gremlin, um pods to like more trees I 
which is cool, but we don't really we don't have that part of our ideology, so we're but as it, as it is, we kind of just have extra seeds anyway because they show up on the map so every so often. Originally, I was trying to get llamas or alpacas or whatever. Yeah, Rimworld's not super super worried about anything like incest. At least not for um, animals. Hmm. Yeah, I usually like growing uh, farming alpacas. I'm not sure what their minimum uh, taming. Hit. That's one. We probably have somebody with one taming, but. Probably the worst, one of the worst parts about Lemur dying is she was, had a passion in animals, so we could have had, like, a lot of cool animals, but she is no longer with us. She got killed and partially eaten by a smile dog. <laughs> like, right around here is where it happened. Like, she was just on the op opposite side of the base from everyone else, and she got jumped and just killed. We were able to kill the damn thing before it ate her completely, but, you know, it still didn't really feel that good. Uh, ooh, we got some steel down here. I didn't really realize and some components too. All right might need to start some mining Let's turn on our little roof overlay uh, Let's go mine. We'll tell um, we'll have lady mine all this stuff because uh, as well as it being our doctor She is also the best miner we have because Sometimes the game is just like, here you go. <laughs> so, I'll give Lady something to do as well. I think she's going to go do that right now, actually. She's going to go mine some components, it looks like. No, not not Smile Dog. Smile Dawn, like a saber to, like a saber cat. One of the mods I have installed is called a Megafauna, and it has like, stuff like Smile Dawns and... like. Extinct, me extinct like megafauna from like prehistoric times. Let's see, it's yeah, smile dawn. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of like mod for that for Rimworld. Seems to be a bit of overlap between like SCP stuff like that. Oh, give me a sec. Yeah, my thing's covering up. Uh, let me do. There we go. S Smile Dawn. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, the QR code thing I have for the fundraising stuff is in the way, my bad. But yeah, it's Smile Dawn, like D O N Dawn. Smilo Dawn. <laughs> Don Smilo Don Quixote. Yeah, you just got this big ass like saber tooth cat trying to fight windmills. Fucking Don Quixote. What a lad. Oh, Gas operation. Uh, what's our next research gonna be? I was I was kind of jonesing for precise rifling so we could have some sniper rifles for hunting, but we need microelectronics for that. Uh, auto cannon, also micro. I think a lot of the stuff going forward is gonna be micro. So gun turrets might be nice. So it'd be Don Quixote. I could see that. Uh, we'll just start on. Microelectronics. We have most of the other stuff we'd want. That unlocks a lot of things. Like deep drilling, hospital beds, transport pot. Yeah, just too many good things are locked behind micro, so we need, need to start that. Microelectronics unlocks things which cannot build because they require memes that none of your people believe. An auto bomb? <laughs> or a sleep accelerator? Yeah, that's fine. We need it anyway for the progression. Okay, I might just leave this how it is, just cause, eh, whatever. I don't really need to move the frit, the cooking area, and all this stuff can be. Like you can kind of set up like a tiered, like um, a bit of like a tiered um, storage system for food and such by having using uh, priorities like this sh this set of shelves here I think 
is important, and this is critical, so most of the time stuff comes to this shelf first, which is closest to where the uh, the stove is for quick quickness of cooking. And then everything else is important. The stuff is preferred because it's kind of like backup stuff. And well, and this is important for meals. Although I'll probably set this one to critical for meals, so that meals go here and only here first. And then I guess all the other shells back there are gonna probably be uh, not preferred, but uh, just uh, normal, so that they get filled. So we fill it up from the from the front to the back, I guess, in that case. But we can go ahead and... I might keep... We've been also trying to build as much furniture out of bone as possible, because we have so much. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna keep a little wall here. I will keep this... We'll keep this wall... We'll keep this wall right here, and then we'll just kind of move these over somewhere else. First things first, let's move this to the outside. I don't know what I was thinking previously. Because that needs to be outside, and then we can move other stuff on the inside. Oh, Huntsman is starting a... F <laughs> Why are they fighting? He's kind. He sh I can't imagine he would normally do that, because... Um, he rarely insults others and will sometimes offer kind words to brighten the moods of those. He also never judges people by their appearances. His agreeableness also makes him more likely to conform to prevailing opinions. Okay, so so yeah, Diva, ins <laughs> Diva viciously insulted Huntsman's food preferences. Qu quicks, n no, that's I don't think that's how you say it at all. <laughs> Diva viciously insulted Huntsman's food preferences. This drove Huntsman into a rage and he began a fight. Which is unfortunate for her because Huntsman is kind of good at melee. Decent at... Well, he's not great at melee. But he's probably better than she is. Oh, hey, she got a, she got a melee level. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'm more I'm more interested in seeing them fucking duke it out in the fucking snow. All right, they they kind of got over their shit. Damn it, Huntsman! Did you get hurt to the point of? Okay, at least nothing got broken. Uh, now is not a great time for you to be in injured like that. I don't think he'd make a food poisoning mistake right now. Nah, I think he'd be fine. We need to We need to cook up some more food, which means cutting up more animal animals. We're cut up like four of them this time. Yeah, not a great time for that. What's Diva doing? Starvation. Oh, yeah, we need to make some food. Kind of let it get a little low. No, she's just like, yeah, whatever. She surprisingly didn't take... T I mean, her torso got pretty low HP, but otherwise she didn't really take that much damage. Kind of surprised, honestly. She did more damage to him than she did to her, even though she was looked like she was getting wailed on. All right, go get your psychic tea, little weirdo. Mmm. She's like, all right, cool, whatever. I don't think that's his blood getting all over the place. I need him to cook. It should be fine. It's just gonna take a little longer for him to get the, the food made. But after that, I'll have him go rest in bed. 
Because every, every, yeah, everyone's going to start coming to go eat. Spring has begun. One of the batteries must have broke. Yeah, looks like it. Have him cook one more thing and then we'll have him eat and then he'll go rest or whatever it is that he needs to do. I'll have her go tend to people. Yeah, for a while we had the we had our dryads on uh, medicine, and we as a result we've got like oh we got some medicine, <laughs> and it's in the freezer, so it's just gonna last forever. So we we're, we're good on medicine for a while. We don't need we don't need to grow any either, really. And lady's a good enough doctor where like she can just use durable medicine and be fine. Lady's gonna go do some more mining. I think. Where are you off to? Oh, there's a dead there's a dead person here. Well, suck to suck. Oh, the rat's eating them. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> the rat just ate their fucking head. Impressive. God damn. <laughs> Don't you just love it when a rat decides to eat someone's head? Uh, how about you haul some steel back for us, weirdo? Callie's taking this, this this bloody fucking thumb. Rat as a decapitation weapon, like if you agree. <laughs> so, sometimes you just gotta do it to them. Even though I didn't really do it to them, it, it kind of just happened. Where are you going, Kelly? One looked a long way. Oh, this thing's been here for a while. It's like, uh, you can use it to turn someone into, like, a, uh, person that can control mechano mechanoids or whatever. Like, you can have your own little mechanoid army. I haven't really dabbled with that. I might hold that off until, like, for a different playthrough. Because this playthrough is kind of like a standard colony kind of deal, but I think if I do another playthrough of RimWorld, after this one, it's gonna be, uh... A not as nice playthrough for people because I try to generally play like decent people when I play RimWorld, but you can also do very not nice things to people <laughs> in this game, so I might dabble in some of that because I almost never play any of that kind of content. Like, no slaves, no like freaking organ harvesting, that kind of stuff. But you can absolutely do that stuff if it if you want to. Once once her st damn freaking <laughs> cup. <laughs> Huntsman smashed Diva in the torso. It was like crunch. But I think after she gets uh, recovered, we're gonna see if we can go have her go hunt some aminals. To restock our fridge a little bit. Cause it's starting to peter out a little bit. We still have plenty in there, but 
It never hurts to have a little more. Are you even? Oh, you're still just. You're just like whatever. I'm gonna cook food. Hell or high water. All right, we need to have you clean the dirt. Now he's gonna play play pool on this masterwork bone billiards table. Baby is just giggling, giggling its little ass off. Why is it not as sterile in here now? There we go. There was like some trash on the floor I couldn't see, which is possibly dropping the bon the, the clean cleanliness bonus, which can lead to some fun, fun things. Uh, is it Doink Season's here now? All right, all about, oh, we have some, oh, this, these are the uh, tribute collectors. We don't got any prisoners. The cooperative. The architects demand is simple. Follow their designated path and no other. Architects can do anything. The only reason they let us live and choose is to judge us better. Someday, the architects will depart when they find a people who present themselves as worthy partners to the machine god consciousness. Child labor encouraged. Oh no. Oh no. Well, better than the me. I think ours is pretty representative of like kind of classic Rimworld uh kind of like sensibilities like pants and shirt. They don't like insect meat. Um one spouse. They can just kind of mingle with with who they want. They don't like nutrient paste. They don't like corpses. Yeah. Pretty standard to classic room world kind of how colonists react to things. Is it a, oh, it's a dry thing. So I was like, I was thinking flash storm maybe. Remember, you can't have child labor if you don't have children. Be gay. Don't do war crimes. True. You can't grow any plants if you don't plant any seeds. <laughs> I'm mad. Oh, the boom rat's mad. Oh, rare thrombos, huh? Um, this presents a, a an opportunity that I don't want to pass up because we have these guys here. This is going to be either really stupid or really stupid. It's, so we're about to, um, you can't force the plants into labor if you don't plant the seed. True. We're going to, um, shoot at this thrombo and then hide inside. Oh, they're probably gonna fight this thing. Well, this person's gonna bleed out in nine hours. Well, they might they might have a bit more of a problem on their hands after I shoot this thrombo. Because these thrombos are worth a lot of meat and a lot of money in general so um we're gonna make it a little mad oh well i hit it all right let's um Let's uh, just go inside now. It's it's bedtime, you know. Just you just kind of don't want to. Oh, are they gonna fight the thrombo now? They might be fight. The thrombo might go after them, cause it is man. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's get them to do the dirty work. Ooh. 
Why fight it yourself when you have them do it? Oh, we lost. One of their members died, so, um. Our relationship went down a little bit, but I can't imagine too many more are gonna die. This thing is getting fucking lit up. Like, bad. Yep, see, that one's dead, and uh, there's another one somewhere. At least I thought there was. Yeah, it's over here. Uh, honestly, I'm fine with letting that one just kind of exist. What is this? Oh, <laughs> drugs. All right, well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry for your loss, but that thrombo is gonna be real nice. And while they're still here, I could have go. Uh, I could go after the other one too. Hmm. Nah. Imperialists from the Broken Empire are leaving the map because of dangerous temperature and ambrosia sprout. Hmm, you don't say. I haven't seen one of these in a while. This is free drugs, basically. Free money. Game's like, here, have some money. I'm like, hmm. I'm a little suspicious, but alright. Yeah, normally when the game gives you free things, you kind of squint and be like, what's the catch? Donkey's been born! It's another girl. And it's immediately gonna eat some hay. Mmm, yummy. Sleepy time. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck just blew up! <laughs> Something just blew up somewhere. I don't know what it was. But it, it sure did. <laughs> Alright. Cool, I guess. Oh, it's probably this. <laughs> Donkey experienced the peak of life. It, it just it just jumped out of the womb and immediately stuffed its face with, with hay. Muffer got born, ate hay, and fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, Olabar's gonna be planting for a while. Uh, Jenny's resting now. Diva's consuming a fine meal. Good for her. Well, you're, 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 you're plenty fun. I'll, okay, the explosion was this boom rat that actually finally died. Uh, we're gonna very quickly haul this uh, thrumbo because it's w worth a lot of money with what it has. We also got some drugs. All of ours plant in lots of everything. Uh, lady is gonna go mining. That's good. That's kind of what hurt. Donk Donkey one is pregnant. Yeah, that didn't take long. Like, hopefully, eventually, we're gonna have um, like a bunch of of girls, and then we can just kind of. I'd say probably like five or six donkey, uh, six girls is probably enough to just have like a plen like a continuously kind of recycling amount of meat. Okay, got the birth fluid. <laughs> yep, that's the amniotic fluid of a donkey times four. Donkey. I don't have names for the donkeys. That's fine. It, they don't strictly need names. Uh, we don't want this picked up. Because who knows where that's been. Let's look at this uh, thrombo corpse here. Let's take a look. Let's see. It's uh, 370 meat by itself. 106 leather. Probably could have been more, but this thing was, like, immensely wounded. Like, look at all these gunshots and punches and 
just everything. This thing got beaten and battered until it finally perished. How's Huntsman doing? He's still on the mend. No, he's getting there. Now, eventually, he, he specifically is a uh, body modder, so he wants artificial body parts. So he's going to get a uh, left arm and probably, like, a right, like, leg at some point once we can make those. Or buy them. Whichever comes first, honestly. This might be too big of an area to be safely roofed. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Um, it's got to be close. Oh, I mean, this pace will be fine. I think this is still fine, too, because... Um, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe we should... uh. Leave this bit here so that the room is stable because I think it's like six tiles away from a wall is how a roof can be supported. So like four, five, six. So if we do one. No, that'd still be fine. I think that's fine still. Yeah, it's fine to do this. I just was like, didn't really have the exact like numbers figured out immediately. Okay, then we'll build some of those there to make this nice and thick. And then we're gonna include a another um We got this little this little area here to receive all this little outdoor area here to receive all the heat. Diva's fully healed from their little scuffle. Yeah, let's move this over here, because this is kind of weird. Okay, that is at minus 20. Let's get this to minus 20 as well. Because I, I fit with this much space, it's gonna, we need at least another uh, cooler to keep it nice and cold. Okay, let's see. It is all connected up now. Okay, so we can kind of deconstruct these because they're super they're superfluous probably not getting anything back from them but yeah that's fine all right and now we can move this over yonder and we can uh probably move this shelf in this way And then we can move this one over and it can stay kind of in this area. Okay, ladies at that one to reserve, which for whatever reason. I think that manufacturer just strictly, uh, uh, we can keep Ambrosia there as well. I probably need to look up what the safe drug stuff for Ambrosia is because 
put these ambrosia sprouts up here. We can um, set a grow zone for those so that when they are ready, that somebody will, all of our will automatically go get them. Instead of us, ha without us having to really do much of anything. So we're just gonna set like a kind of little very sketchy looking grow area for these. Don't think about it. And then set it to no sow because we don't want to sow things over these, but having it in the grow area when stuff is ready to go, he'll get a little alert that something's, you know, ready to pick and he'll go get it. Also notice there's a lot of steel here too. Uh, let's see. How is this steel looking? Looks like it got carved out pretty nicely. Let's, let's carve out some more as well. Try to avoid doing overhead mountain digging if possible. Because I just don't want to deal with the fucking bugs that are a pain in the ass. Although I think newer versions of RimWorld have like bug, like hive kind of like factions that can sometimes just be on your map anyway, whether you like it or not. So mm. maybe I shouldn't worry so much about it. <laughs> Alright, so, so far so good. We're getting, we got that set up. Turn this back off. This got moved over, so. We're gonna shift these all down by one, so this is gonna go over here. Let's see, that's preferred. We'll copy and paste to that. This is important. This one's also important. Let's reinstall. Diva's gonna go haul meat. Okay, and then this one, which is critical. All right, cool. Because we have our medicine here. Frankly, I should probably keep a thing of medicine out here, but I, at some point I'm going to want to make actual medicine out of this instead of just um, herbal medicine. So when, it, when that time comes, we will have um, a spot in the hospital. Although I should probably just have some out here at all times anyway. So that when somebody needs to do some doctoring, they can just whip it up real quick. Yeah, that's a good. That's a, a good idea. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. I kind of want to put another set of uh, hospital beds there, but we might we might flip these around to be a little bit more efficient. Bed, bed. Yeah, because we have two beds there, this, and then two beds over there in case we get really jacked up oh great everyone went to sleep uh what are you doing you're hungry you're probably gonna eat as you have any food oh well it looks like we're gonna need to just just cut up all the fucking meat at this point it's not a big deal i don't know how many we actually have but huntsman will cut them all up uh does somebody have a meal Somebody have a meal. You have a meal. Um, is Huntsman hungry? <laughs> I'd feel a little... No, he's fine. Consume your husband's meal. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. Nappy time. Uh, how about you go to... Nah, he probably should be in the hospital bed. Nah, it's fine. They're just having a good, grand old time. All right, well, he's up, and he's going to just butcher everything. And now he's going to cook, which is good. OK. 
okay, and this is um, clear all, and let's go ahead and do our medicine. Um, all these, and uh, critical. I don't know if we even have any other medicine. We might have used it up if we did. I think at some point, uh, Lady herself was sick, so we used, the, like, one or two, like, industrial-era medicines that we had to make sure she survived. But yeah, having a bunch of medicine... In the, in the hospital is going to probably save a life at some point. It's not that far, but still having to go through an area to get... To some medicine, it's probably not ideal. This stuff will last a long time anyway. We're spoils in like 22.4 years, yeah. Okay, Huntsman's fully healed anyway. Good, good. Nullabar is planting stuff again. I think some of it might have died in the cold because it's still a little, still a little cold outside. Yeah, it gives them something to do. Whatever. I might need to increase the bill to be higher than, um, yeah, let's put up to 24. Alright, Diva, what are you up to? You're hauling components. Alright, that's fine. After that, I might want to get her a different gun. So we can have her go hunting or something. Let's see, what guns do we have? We've got a master, um, we have a homing recurve bow masterwork, which gives it more accuracy, which is fine, I guess. Um, damage, 18 a shot, that's not bad, actually. What about this uh, auto pistol? 10 damage a shot. I mean, I guess if we're just killing animals that aren't going to fight back, it's fine. Let's see what we have on the map anyway. A warg, alpaca, ibex, does, boom rats, hares, rats. The throne bow is still here. Uh, let's not. We've got some wild donkeys. We might go, we might go kill them. We might go try to tame the, the girl, though. I don't think the donkeys will fight back, so let's... Uh, Let's put this, auto, this good auto pistol on Diva, and then we're gonna go find this this find this donkey and uh blast it. Donkey, be the boy, the donkey boy. Uh, Oh, I was actually expecting her to hit from that distance. That was kind of why I'm having her shoot this gun from down here, because she'll get shooting experience, but probably not actually hit the damn donkey. So it'll die, it'll die a little slower. It's a little cruel, but I mean, unfortunately, that the, the outer rim is a cruel place. Where's that warg? That's making me nervous, because I just heard war bark, bark. Okay, it's over here. Now, wargs are really cool to have, but they take a lot of taming skill, and they're very uh, temperamental to get. Ooh, you actually hit him. Gee, jeepers.
I think there was another donkey somewhere too. I'll have Diva go chase that one as well. Someone will come pick that up pretty shortly. Probably Callie. Level 14 in cooking. Let's double check real quick on. Oh, he's been just but he's just been butchering up a storm. Oh, we got some meat now. I think he. I'm almost certain he cut the thrombo up already. Yeah, I don't see it. So he he definitely like cut that up and just an explosion of meat just happened all over the place. Cool. Well, let's get some more. See that is the mail. Also trying to scare these donkeys away from the edge of the map so they won't like run away. Oh yeah, they'll, prob they'll probably stop. That, that one's probably gonna stop fleeing or whatever pretty soon. Just want to keep it from running off the map because I want to tame this one. Because that's because it's the goral. So we'll set that for tame. I think Lady is kind of set. Awkwardly as like an animal handler, yeah. Her skill is probably like one, but t t donkeys don't need a taming skill, so it's fine. We can make deal. I'm gonna get ya. Diva's gonna get ya. Diva's gonna get ya, donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Let's look at the XP. Like 20 something a shot. Like I don't mind if it takes a while for her to kill it cause well, she gets XP per shot I think. I don't know if bigger guns give you like bigger guns that shoot slower give you more XP or not. So just a lot of, oh, well. I guess it's no don't eat out in the middle of the field you asshole go home no you're, you're gonna be difficult go <laughs> oh I'm gonna eat out in the middle of the field and make myself upset <laughs> you gotta watch these fuckers like a hawk or they'll just do the most inane bullshit I oh, think he's gonna go grab that donkey. Yep, sure is. Oh, you're actually gonna go tame this donkey. Perfect. Another good thing about just growing a ton of rice in here is that we always have taming stuff on hand, and honestly, we always have food on hand. As long as we go hunting stuff, we just don't run out of food because this all is powered by this one generator here that never runs out of power because it's geothermal it just stays there forever basically it's pretty sweet what what is this what happened here do i want to know probably not um What was I? What was I doing? <laughs> I kind of got distracted by this. Oh, I was looking at other uh, geysers on the map. 
this is probably the most likely one for us to use to add to our power grid as well. Because we could like surround this and then have like a, a, a wall kind of cutting this whole thing off and put a power line under the wall. It would further cut off uh, migration stuff through this part of the map, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Makes it easier to control the map. And then we could have a line coming from this, go under there and hook into the power grid like right here maybe. Or what we could do is have it hook onto this line from like this one, like if we look at power. We could have it hook into this one as well. Or I, or I could do like, I could just hook it onto this little wire right here, like I have um, there. If I do that though, I'm gonna need more of these, uh, sh these fuses, cause Actually, if we hook if we hook this on without it going to a battery, like if we have hook this on in general, without batteries, then it would be fine. But if we if we hook that on, we'd probably add another row of batteries here. But as it is, these kind of keep this full almost all the time anyway. So I don't know. If we we're gonna do another, if we have another one of those here, we probably would just hook it to this so we could have seventy two hundred watts. And then just fill the rest of this room up with hydroponics. And probably use some of that to grow the drugs. And then do nothing but like hay grass back here. We could do all this area with... Um... Actually, that's, a... that's something I should be researching instead is... Um... Double strand. We can make really good clothes out of it. All right, send G Diva to gay baby jail so she can go eat her food like a normal person inside at the table. What's Olivar up to? He's sewing the area again. He's very good at sewing his seed. <laughs> he he ha ha. Okay, it's starting to get not negative degrees outside. It's kind of nice. What in the fuck is going on? So we just cut a tree. Olabar really gonna just plant partially plant corn and then leave? <laughs> Probably. All right, what else is going on? What are we up to? Oh, don't stop! Stop! You already have one. Stop. <laughs> you already have one. Stop. Stop. Stop doing that. Bean is a baby. His life revolves around milk and naps. What we can do though is if we can get some xenogerms from different people or places, we can implant them into Bean and have a genetically modified child. <laughs> we gotta have a super baby. Vincent's gonna cook. Cause a lot of people ran by and got their food for the day. Okay, what's he doing now? Hauling steel. There's a little bit of steel left down here. Genevieve is 
Genevieve is a maxed out researcher. Like, with, if there was no level cap, she'd be level 23 researching. Like, she's single-handedly researching just everything in the world. Breastfeeding. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. Well, maybe not enjoy, but it's kind of like your duty, I guess. What's Diva doing? Hauling wood. Hmm. Let's see, should I build some copies of this? Okay. Okay, that's just that was just for medicine okay so these are important I'll have these ones out here be important as well that way stuff comes to this room first then these can all be preferred so that like backup stuff overflow goes there but as you can see all those animals we butchered got us a lot of bones And everyone's gonna spend some time hauling those. Lobar's planting a million corn. Although, frankly, at this point, I probably don't need all this corn, and I should, probably should have made that hay grass. But we've got a little cooler in here, so I think it's always pretty cold in here as well. Cold enough to keep it like. keep the, the hay from spoiling very fast, if at all. Okay, what are you doing there? Olibar, play, you're gonna go play at the gar garland tree. Yep, there you go. Huntsman is researching with his wife. Honestly, that's probably how they got close as they both research. Huntsman does not have a passion for it, so his has just been out of necessity, me just getting it higher and higher for the sake of, like, just for the sake of uh, needing someone to research because I was a fool and didn't select someone to be a researcher at the very start. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I just didn't, and it was a uh, mistake. Oh, I realize that's a, that's a bad idea. What's... This whole area is negative 20 degrees. Um, that's not what I really intended to do. <laughs> um, well, let's, um, do that. So one of the minor break risk, minor break risk briefly. Apparently that was too much for my brain to comprehend saying. <laughs> Donkey 3 is pregnant. I could also technically grow donkeys and sell them if I really wanted to. 
But they're more useful for food, for meat or whatever. If I can if I can somehow get a character that has good animal handling, I could probably look into getting some something else that's a little bit more ideal, like something like alpacas or buffaloes or whatever. But donkeys don't take handling skills, so if you have, find them and are able to tame them, then they're just free, basically. Like, you don't even need to be good at all at it. You just kind of have to pass the skill check. Just in time, 6.6 .6 days. Growth time, 19 days. It's be longer if the creature starts. Jeez. Um, so this, this donkey is five... Is, Five years and 43 days old. Okay, this one that this was the original donkey, one of the original donkeys that came with that came to us. Okay, this donkey is barely an adult, but he's he's old he's old enough to do what an adult donkey needs to do. This one's ten. That one's two days old. That one's 31 days old. So. We've got seven donkeys. I only see six. It says seven. Oh, maybe it's including one of the donkeys being pregnant. I don't know. Oh no, there's a don there's one donkey on top of another don <laughs> why are they like this? Donkey three and donkey five are in the same spot. Oh, that's because this is medical. No wonder they're sleeping in the same spot. They're like, oh, Eh, they'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, we got a mad hair. One singular mad hair. Is it gonna go destroy a trap? It's, I think it's just mad. Won't well, be obviously, but. Everyone else is asleep and Olabar is just Gonna get this mad hair to uh, end its life. It's gonna go splat. Yep, splat. Alright, cool. Go to bed, Olivar. Good job. And then we'll replace this wooden trap with a bone trap. Mad hair is taken care of. Okay, our laboratory is looking pretty okay. Um, once we get microelectronics done, we'll be able to make a high tech bench. Which researches faster, and then we can put like the multi analyzer in the corner, and so on and so forth. There's a music mod that I use called P Music that has like really good music that fits in really well with RimWorld in general. 
Alright, well, we don't really need to do much more of this right now. Psychic Sooth for boy, the boys! In the meantime, I'll have her go cut some more blocks. Let's investigate this. Okay, we can get a little bit more steel from this without worrying about bugs. Because if I can, I could uh, mine out the steel from this these overhead places and then replace it with more walls so that they don't count as like being... Um, Overhead mountain that'd be walled in. I don't think bugs can generate in walls like that. Callie's no longer inspired with trade. Well, unfortunately, we didn't really get the chance. Not yet. Right, let's see. Yeah, we're getting some more of these blocks. Diva's just crunching up some of the granite. We got a bunch of granite. And we still we have some marble too that we can crunch up for more flooring. Steal minor break risk for Diva because she's just been she's just been breaking freaking uh, thingies for the last million years. I was just checking Discord and game just decided no, you're gonna mute the game. But after, she, after she breaks this, I'll have her go eat. Nope, go 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 eat some food, you weirdo. Steel stockpiles are looking a lot nicer than they were previously. Helps that we have a, a very good um, miner. Nice and clean in here. We're getting some good meals made. We got 22. We got 26. What are you doing? Hauling some more. Blocks, okay, cool. Let's see if we got fine meal, that's fine. Okay, what we got going on? Apparently, oh. <laughs> apparently he's, apparently a diva and him are rivals, except not for her. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, she has a pretty high opinion of him, and they had a cathartic fight, which he's not very fond. Oh, that's kind of sad. He has he doesn't have a high opinion of um, Lemur because she's an ex-wife, even though that's because she's dead. Anyway, let's <laughs> that's so fucked up. <laughs> Oh, I never liked her anyway. <laughs> what are you up to? You gonna go haul some steel? That's fine. Comment about shirts. Oh, well, that's pretty tame. All things considered. <laughs> Boomerat's gonna go eat this person's body. No, that person's body. Mmm, yummy. A fat and happy boom rat. Good for you. Well, hello, Mr. Sloth. Or Mrs. Sloth, my, excuse me. Where are my manners? Okay, researching, good. I need them to research, if at all possible. Okay, 
he's gonna go make some more food because it's kind of like his main thing is just make sure that we have lots of food. And if we really wanted to, we could stretch out this food tremendously far by making a nutrient paste and then with that nutrient paste we can make survival meals which don't expire anyway but mm, you don't get you don't really get buffs from food with that all right so now back to the microelectronics yep we know auto bong blah 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 uh, honestly I'm tempted to just replace this with uh, double strand because double strand takes a long time to grow actually it takes like oh, a long long time to grow so so we can get that planted the better can we plant double strand in here I don't I can't imagine they would let you oh you oh you can pl uh, you know what uh, double strand in here instead I didn't know you could do double strain in hydroponics, which is great because these give you a 280% growth rate, which is massive for a plant that takes so long to grow. So no, these can, uh, these can, this can stay corn. I'll change that back. He's gonna go change these over to double strand. Which are like much little mushrooms. And the clothes you make from them are like red and they're really cool looking. And they're really really strong clothes too. Oh you got, got a little bit of rice out of the whole ordeal, I guess. I don't know the I don't know the exact math of using these to grow stuff with the 280% grow speed, but like, it's intense. You can just Genevieve is reached 20 intellectual again. Like once it just goes to get a certain um, uh, once they get to a certain uh, level, they tend to um, start degrading. Probably I think to around they start degrading down to, to like 15 or 10 or something like that. So yeah, like er, previously a few days ago, it was like 20.78, but now it's just back down to 20. Probably because she wasn't like researching or something. Okay, Kelly's doing, she's cleaning dirt. She's relaxing, you're researching, you're eating food. I can hear Olabar clambering away on blocks there. Just taking turns cleaning dirt. <laughs> uh, you're gonna go pray in your room, probably. Yeah. Conversion ritual, public execution, leader speech, role change, liberal festival. The leader will give an encouraging speech and everyone will socialize for a while. I want to say this, uh, this party of holyism thing is how we got at least one of these colonists. I think maybe Callie, the last time we held it, held it, this is how we got them. Maybe. I can't remember if that's how we got Gen. It might have been how we got Genevieve as well. Can't imagine she would have been part of a raid. Uh, we could do this. Let's see. Fifty-five. 
first chief would make this more effective. Do we even have a first chief? I don't know what that me even means. Uh, in that case, let's do a rule change. Who would be a good first chief? A leader. Um, I probably want somebody to be a leader that has good social. That seems like a good idea. Let's so let's look at all our social stats. Uh, two, three, seven with a boost. Tempting. Uh. Point two, five with a boost, and ten. Hmm. Hadn't really thought of Callie being the leader of our, our little group or whatever, but um, I'd more see that as maybe Lady, since she's like the medic as well. Um, as it is, Olabar is like some like fruity little ch um abbot or something. Happy youngsters. It's nice to see that the young folk are doing well. Sky high expectations. The preacher has higher expectations. I should be made very comfortable here. Um. Let's do a role change. Uh, we're gonna have Lady become the preacher, and Cali. Uh, Lady will become the leader, and we can have Cali become preacher. Let's see, preacher, and then first chief can be Cali. No, Cali is gonna be the uh, first chief. You're about to assign the role to First Chief Lady. Lady will gain the following abilities. Leader speech, work drive, com command, and trial. It can sometimes be better to wait until your colony is more established. Okay. Olibar is going to be unhappy that he's no longer that, but I'm sure he'll be okay. His, ex his expectation score will go up a little bit. Um, actually, I don't think he really is that bummed out. Or maybe it takes a second for it to... To, ch to check out. Assess the rule change. Rule change to total is blah blah. Determined by these factors. Oh, it's because... No, she's... She was a... She's a different thing. Leader speech. Rousing speech intended to improve morale. Colonists will gather and the leader will speak for a few hours. And the speech will do social damage. <laughs> work drive. We can use a... Make someone work harder. Combat command. Create an aura that boosts the combat skills of everyone nearby. Oh. It's actually really good. I probably should have had this role set a long time ago. Now this is, is going to be the one that is going to make Olabar a little more unhappy. He's no longer going to be the preacher. But Callie's going to be a much better fit because he actually has good social. So this is going to make Olabar's mood tank a little bit, but mm, I'm sure he'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, he's he's not gonna be happy for a little bit, but I'm I'm sure he'll be okay. In in, in ten days, he won't even know. And Callie's now probably happy that he's a new. Yeah, his expectations stuff has changed, but he's generally been in a pretty good mood anyway. Who insulted you? No idea. <laughs> um, what is your genotype? Oh, you're a Neanderthal. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I mean, I don't really care. 
Hope Body. Overridden by Gene. Fat Body. Fat Body. Skin color, darkest red hair, heavy brow, heavy jaw, reduced pain. Caveman! Captain Caveman! Slow runner, that's fine. Robust, strong melee damage, which is good because uh, Callie is going to get name changed if I can do that. Caveman. Owen Caveman Clark. <laughs> we, we, have, we have a Neanderthal as a preacher. Which is going to be a much better... It's much better that he's a preacher because his counseling and stuff would probably be much more effective since he's got a double passion in social. So he's actually good at socializing, which is, you know, probably a good thing to have. Molly meat, then I'm gonna go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I am gonna actually do that thing that I was talking about with the um Put that there and then we'll build the walls kind of around it first. I oh, can just build a wall right there. Ah, no, I actually want it to, it to connect up to this power grid here so that we can have more stuff like we can so we can have more of this because these give 3600 watts and that would be another 3600 which means like <laughs> a lot more hydroponics and we could probably even throw a battery on there for the lulls for the LOLs. So let's look at our po the power setup here. Um, Airjillo is gonna have this as like backup power, which we still have, still kind of want that capability. Honestly, to where if like this power sometimes out somehow out, we can flick this on and have things work that way. But Let's see how big are these? Three, four. One, two, three. Okay, and then we're gonna just. It's gonna be a pretty big building project. Mostly because I wanted to put out another power up, uh, like a solar cell kind of deal. In that case, maybe I should do all this up by one. Let's drag and drop. Cancel and we'll big, big power. We'll cancel that because then we'll move this wall right there to kind of complete the deal. It'll probably end up closing this in. I don't know what we'll do with this area up here. 
Maybe we'll expand these rooms up to be bigger than they are. It'd make them more impressive for sure. And then we could have a nice big church. <laughs> Fucking light ball. <laughs> big old church. We might end up do using that and moving the prison um, further away, make it more secure or something too. Because where it is kind of right now is not super ideal. And they'll mostly go after a break through the doors on the prison cell, so it's enough time to kind of get to it if they're trying to make like a prison break. That's if we have any more prisoners. We usually don't get them. at least double all this because we'll use this as like the base wall for something whether that's going to be a big throne room or bigger this or something else I don't know but I want this incorporated into this power grid so that we can grow even more garbage right here I'm gonna want no roofs but elsewhere we might want roofs for sure uh, let's see like build roof we want a roof in here because I'll capture heat yeah uh, whatever all right and when they get up they're gonna have a lot more stuff to do uh, no inspired surgery for us yeah whatever We got a raid. First one in a while. Ooh. Who do we have over here? We've got <laughs> Assassin. Pretty, pretty on the nose. This, one of these uh, Tox Company raids is how we got D.Va. We got <laughs> Smother, uh, Sloan, Assassin. Looks like they have some weapons on them too. Let's see, two separate little groups. Skunk. Uh, <laughs> first, I read that as prostate. <laughs> Pros waste. <laughs> uh, skunk. Uh, you got Anya. You got Lloyd. Oh, Anya is a baseliner, it looks like. Um, and then you got Beat Face. <laughs> Are you named that because you beat faces in or because you your face looks like a beat? I don't know. But that's... um gonna change what we what we're gonna be doing for a little bit because we've got raids and frankly that means I need to probably start um, making another thing like this I might need to reposition this into a more sent maybe up maybe I could do that up here so I don't know I just know that they're over here and they're probably going to try to break through something, so I might have to, um... We'll see. Maybe I can just kill off all these people and they'll run away. Well, we'll just have to see what happens. But, let's check out how everyone's doing. Yeah, you get up and eat. Uh, let's see you consume your food. I want them to be in a good mood If at all possible you get up and eat you can just sleep because you're not really gonna be Doing anything worthwhile anyway during this other than maybe research uh, You are fine You move there and you are Do I have a better weapon than your your bonkin stick. 
Let's see. Nine point. Uh, that's actually pretty good DPS melee wise, I guess. Um. Yeah, this this calls for a little bit of a. I would love to harass them with like, huntsman or something like that. Like maybe even get a kill or two. But that might not be smart to do. Um, like once we have sniper rifles, that'd be more feasible to do, but. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna want Huntsman to be like down here because when they come in he'll be able to shoot at them from there and then when they get too close or if they start shooting back he can retreat as needed it's kind of why I have these little pokey these little spots like right here and like right here where I can kind of position people as needed to kind of shoot at them Okay, she's this is kind of like if they get this far then we might be a little fucked anyway so okay he's playing some er what are you I need you to not be doing that whatever that is I think she's a melee as well yeah she is look do you not have a weapon she doesn't have a weapon let's find her one how good is oh thrombo horn hey grab that <laughs> grab that one don't you um it might be better if he, um, let's look at your, uh, melee DPS. Oh, his strong melee damage makes it to where he should probably grab that Thrumbo Horn, actually. Because he'll, he'll do some fucking numbers with that shit if, if the time comes. Because let's, let's check his stuff now, his... DPS is 10.5. Well, I think it's pretty okay. <laughs> Let's have her grab this club so she at least has something. Yeah, once Genevieve eats her, leave the tree alone, but you, you probably don't need that. And I might position him, like, nearby in case I need to have him run out and cut someone up. Because Olabar is pretty good at melee. He's pretty tanky, too. Okay, where's Huntsman at? What I have him do? Oh, he's just, he's just playing more the game of... The game of life... <laughs> Well, at least this raid isn't, like, falling from the fucking sky like they have in the last few. Because the last few have been, like, airdrop raids by the pig people. And they've landed in Genevieve's fucking bedroom. Probably saw some... They probably just like, oh, hey, there's a... There's this genie girl living in this place. Go, Let's go steal, capture her or something. I don't fucking know. I don't know what their deal is. But yeah, Huntsman's gonna pop right in here. And let's see what they do where they're going, because they're moving, but I don't know where they're moving to or what they're doing. You're just, Sloan's just wandering around. They got some, like, don't know where they're going to go. If they're going to come in here, maybe, maybe they can sense they can fight, um, Huntsmen are gonna go that way. Where are they going, though? I don't know if they're gonna path route. Well, well that's one dead. <laughs> Immediately. Those ones might not even make it here in time to not be just fucking dead. Oh, that one's dead, too. Um, and these bone traps were a great idea. Oh, yep, they're leaving. They're like, fuck this, we're out. Ooh, you're not quite dead, beat face. 
You're you're four. You're not even 15 years old. Are you good at anything? Not really. <laughs> Witness Dolly's death. I saw one of the people die. They were alive one moment, then dead the next. Well, that's that's what happens when you try to steal my shit. Uh, ooh, we got a pump shotgun. That's pretty cool. And oh, go juice. Uh oh. Um. Well, that was uh, exciting. Wait, are they. Oh, these were those that that group left, but this one's still here. Oh, stunk! One trap knocked him down. And these bone traps are strong. Go get him, Olabar. Go get him. Get him. Get him. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> get him, Olabar. Fuck him up. I want that rifle. Give me that rifle. Are you good at melee? Uh, kind of. Get him. Cut him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's an awful rifle. Wh whatever. You got a you got a few bruises. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Neat. Cool. Raid's over. All the bark. Is the only one that took remotely any damage from that raid. Uh, let's grab. Oh, they got some stogies. Okay, that's another wooden trap. And we got. Two people that aren't quite dead. We got Hex. Smother. <laughs> Their name's Smother. Uh, good to plants, good at shooting, good at melee. Honestly, if I was looking to grow my colony more, I probably would grab this person, but for now, I'm content with our manpower, especially since Bean is growing up. And who even knows what Bean's gonna have, so. Yeah, we'll just let them, um, we don't really need their clothes, really, and I'll check their gear out. Trader's coat, hmm. How about we strip this one, because the trader's coat might be worth... Nah, we we'll probably just make a trader's coat. I think we already have one anyway, so. A zitzt. Fault in an electrical conduit has caused a short circuit. All the power in the connected batteries has been discharged, but thankfully, since we have these fuses, which are a modded item, um, we didn't have a fire start. So, yay! Alright, well, the show's over. Uh, how about y'all go back to doing whatever it is y'all are up to? Well, Huntsman got at least a shot off on someone, I think. Isn't that nice? I think Genevieve was just researching the whole time. <laughs> He's like, oh, we're getting raided? That's cool. Let me just go learn how to... Raccoon just jumped on a spike trap and died. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, she's just like, oh, I'm gonna learn how to do electronics while y'all are, like, I don't know, watching them step on traps and die. Caveman! Oh, yeah, Caveman is also, um, our child care worker.
just click this over and over to see who. Oh, you're, she was just. She didn't even participate. I had her grab that club, and she just kind of stood there. All right. Go drag Sloan to Splash Mountain. No, excuse me. You got all these rotting rabbits here. Donkey Five is pregnant. Oh boy, I think Donkey Three was pregnant previously too. Oh, Donkey Five was just old enough to just old, just old enough. Thanks for the hydrate. Mmm. I'm about to have one of those Pepsi Nitros actually. I don't know if I should do the ASMR thing and crack the the thing at my desk because I might just spill everywhere. If I do that, I'm gonna move my keyboard first. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go grab one. Available for this isn't super suitable, but let's play ball. I'm like spreading out napkins like a freaking like hazard like reduction fucking measure on my desk. <laughs> like Panda Express napkins <laughs> to like soak up any wayward spittle that this Nitro Pepsi unleashes <laughs> whenever it gets opened. Well, I managed to not spill it everywhere. But it is splattering a little on the desk. I'm glad I put these napkins down, because... Yeah. Alright. It's probably the least messy opening of those I've done to date. And I still made a mess. <laughs> it just goes to show how messy these things are. Nitrogen bubbles are like fizzy and stuff. All right, good job, Donkey Five. Is that the one that just is newly pregnant? Uh, yeah. Oh, we got like three of them pregnant now. Donkey, 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 other donkey. Those are also gorals. Uh, did we end up taming that one donkey? I think we did. Oh, I'm not a fan of all these predators on the map. There's quite a few of them, and if they're not satisfied with the amount of animals near them, they'll target your colonists, and I'm not a fan of that either. squirrel
Oh, it went nighttime. I was like, wait, what's going on? The answer is it is time to, for the plants to sleep. I might need to cut a little mountain pass through here so that enemies like that could still get around because otherwise... They might not want a path all the way through like this and they might cause problems. So we're probably gonna cut through this too. Like up here. Dating from 2500 BC, this is setting and infuriating board game can be played by one or two people. Intellectual. Can we make a better intellectual recreation thing? I think poker is, um... Would poker be that? Let's look. Cerebral play. Cerebral play, okay. So that would be a upgrade to our... Let's put it down here so I can move this to where I want it to go, because... Uh, what kind of... Now nah, we'll just put it somewhere else. Uh, let's see, poker. Silver freaking poker. I think that'd take like 750 silver to build that. We don't have the jade, that's okay. We can make it out of bones like I do everything else. How much cloth do we have? Uh, not that much cloth, but we can at least uh, make some nice furniture. Like, these would be the most ideal um, chairs they use, but they need cotton. Which we could grow in here at some point, but for now I think we're just going to make some, some dining chairs out of... Good old bone dining chairs for po for the poker table. Play your last pathetic game of Ur, because <laughs> after we get this made, you won't need that anymore. Boom rat is mad. Where is the boom rat? Why is it mad? It's very mad, and it's gonna explode. Maybe. How fun. Um, see, this is why it'd be nice having um, a backup power thing of like this of this grid where I can flick this on if necessary. But buddy, you need to eat. Stop playing with the fucking tree and eat. He does this all the time. Like constantly. Fucking 
Dingleberry. Got granite blocks. What is Diva do? Uh, Diva, go. Why are you asleep? It's AM. Get the fuck up. It tends to get pretty hot in here, which is why I wanted to have this connected with this so that the, heat, the natural heat that this makes by the geyser gets kept in here as useful during the winter. Uh, go here. Fuck it. Fuck it. And now having this open will equalize the temperatures between these two rooms a little bit better. A little bit better. Captain Caveman! What do you. Oh, your, your expectation. Cramped interior. Uh, I'm pretty soon we're gonna need all these seats at the table with how many people we have. He's gonna go smoke some weed. There he goes. You can see the the. the... He's go. He's doing it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> double weed smoking power. <laughs> there they go. Oh, how delightful. Yeah, Lobar is still kind of bummed that he lost the preach roll, but we've been needing to do it for a while. Why is your mood bad? Oh, you're a pessimist. You're always going to be in a bad mood. Yeah, this is why I have the Psychite T as well. Because it's as long as they don't do it too often, they won't get addicted to it, and it'll be a nice mood boost when they need it. It all it also uh, reduces the drain on um like uh, sleep by a little bit. Okay, Diva's finally starting to work on this. Frankly, I don't think I need this whole deal. I'm... might end up trying to move things around where I can kind of get out this way with this door here. Hmm. Just trying to strategize without really like looking up too many guides on stuff is can be a little uh, daunting because like it's, a, it's, it's like the stuff work this way or am I doing it wrong etc 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 um what I do know is I want these this this to be one room instead of like kind of like this weird split deal
up. Shit. Um, perhaps it's not... No, it should... Hmm. I might have screwed up something bad because these might all die now because they're not all connected. Um, that can, that'll at least keep the plants alive, but... Hmm. Okay, I need to get rid of some of these other little guys in the wall. Like these need to these need to go now because the other things are just kind of connecting to them, even though there's no, no power going there. Hopefully, it didn't hopefully Diva didn't go too far. Everything's connected back up. Should be a little neater as well. Oh, I still got this one. Let's... See, I didn't originally plan to build my base around this, but I probably should have, but initially I built my base around, like, this area, because the, the planting stuff was here. In early game, you gotta get food off the ground quick, or you will quickly starve. Um... healed up from his uh, scuffle that he had with one of the raiders. Really need some building to happen of these traps. some of these traps put back in. Donkey One has given birth! Another child. Another girl. Today is your birthday, Donkey. It just goes to sleep immediately. Um... damn things we have now one two three four five we have five adults and three babies donkey four and donkey one need to switch uh beds Three. Yeah, <laughs> we 
got a lot of donkeys. Nah, Diva's going to bed. She's fine. Don't you do it. Don't you. <laughs> Why is there a boar asleep in our traps? What do you hope to accomplish? The wood is starting to over. We, we need to switch this to something, just anything else that, other than wood at this point because there's, there's a little too. We got a little too much wood. <laughs> we got a little too much. Oh no. Um, let's take a look. Let's see. Carriers are good for hauling. Bark skin, um, absorb damage. Claws can do damage. Wood makers are great. Medicine makers are great. Berry makers are great too, but we don't need berry makers. We don't really need any of them at this point. Um, I guess it's fine to just keep them on wood. Our, our poor, our storeroom is gonna just fill with goddamn wood for long. I could make some more shelves over here just for wood. I was wondering if we could do um, hay grass in here, but no, we can't. Hay grass can still only really grow out here. <clears throat> These are growing pretty well, I'd say. Yeah, they took a little bit of damage from my little power flip-flop that I did, but... Mm. Them was the brakes. Alright, Olibar. Go do something. What do you... What? Oh. There's a tree up here. Somebody just eat with... The... Was it you? Did you just eat without a table? You did. I saw you do it. Can't we get a table around here? <laughs> well, go to the fucking dining room, you asshole. Jeez. Kill, kill the tree, Olaba. Kill it. Kill this one, too, because it's going to get in the way. Oh yeah, Diva's working on the uh, the bone chairs. Apparently, this one's got art. This furniture bears the representation of Exorus Huntsman Hawk working feverishly while covered in sweat. A group of dentists watch with amazement. <laughs> the work represents hardship. Unusually for this kind of work, a ferret waits to the right of the main scene. <laughs> this image tells the story of Huntsman becoming a master at cooking tasks. On 3rd of April, May. Oh, hey, that was like this year, like literally like six days ago. He was like, let's commemorate your mastery of being a cook. Um, is it, yep, you're a master, which means you cook faster. 
<laughs> it's just great. Fantastic. Proud of you or something. I was going to say, well, how about Olabar, you go cut more blocks, and he literally is already doing that. I love it when a plan comes together. I wish he would just drop him on the floor and so other people could come grab him, but he's adamant about, I don't know, not doing that. Caveman is just cleaning around the base. Good job cleaning. Oh, those are sandstone blocks. Which means I think we're out of uh, granite ones. Because everyone's taking all the blocks directly to each wall, it looks like. Who's got it? Caveman? What are you doing? What are you doing, caveman? What, what's wrong with... Oh. You, you fucking ate without the table and now you're pissed off about it. Him being a pessimist kind of sucks. I don't know if there's really anything we can really do about it. Um, We could try doing a little festival thing to make everyone happier. Let's see. Speaker. Started it. Alter. Um. Oh. Is there some sort of altar we can make instead? Let's see. Styling station. Grand altar. Oh! We can make this bigger and like move Lemur's tomb out of the way, I guess. I was kind of planning on making these bigger anyway, but... Eh, we'll probably just try to go th for through with this. This is a pretty, uh... A pretty good chance of this being good anyway. Which would be a nice mood boost to help stave off things for stuff like caveman so yeah let's just do that let's have a let's have a little party just having a party in the tomb <laughs> Gives everyone a plus five, which helps stabilize caveman's mood. So far, things are chugging along pretty nicely. Diva has, ar has arisen. What else we got? Excellent. Any other art? No, not really, but yeah, that's fine. Game of Ur has been um, obsolete. God.
How about you just construct this one and build a bone one in this place? Ragabee's weather controller, what we got? Agnes Ragabee, a countess of the Broken Empire, is traveling near Catasbia. She is being followed by her enemies and wants your help using signals to draw them towards Catasbia. If you do, her enemies will activate a site nearby to harass you. There's a weather control machine there forcing weather in the whole region to fog. And four man hunting hares are wandering nearby. This site will remain until you just go destroy it. Gene pack green, <laughs> green skin. <laughs> you can inject that into someone and have their skin turn green. <laughs> That's funny. If I were to do this, this is what I would pick, because advanced components are very useful to have. You need them specifically for some things. There's a weather control machine there, forcing weather. Uh, nah, that sounds annoying. I want to have, have her, like, go ahead and, uh, finish these traps. And then she can go work on, that, oh, that's a horse. I wasn't sure if that was a horse or, like, a mountain lion or something. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. This fucking horse is gonna bleed out everywhere. I just built those, you fucking asshole. Oh, now I'm just mad. Come here. <laughs> oh, now I feel a little bad. He just bopped it once in the noggin with this fucking thrumbo horn and just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. Uh, stabbed in the freaking leg. <laughs> Apparently I stabbed in, well, I don't know if that was a trap or if that was... Okay, we only had one stab in the body, just in like the, the body. Whoops. This one already, no, this one's just kind of in shock, I think. They're kind of, just, Jesus. Well, at least bones are easy to get. That's more meat, I guess, for the fridge. We've been kind of accumulating little corpses of animals. Huntsman's just running up and just like slitting their throats or whatever. Let's kind of clean up a little bit first. It's just, just a very bloody, nasty place because the horse just bled all over the place. Again, at least we get plenty of bones to burn through. Oh, Olabar's going back for another joint. There he goes. <laughs> I just heard like the lighter noise. I was like, oh, he's lighting up. What's Caveman doing? Going for a walk. All right, cool. How's this guy's? I feel like I was about to go to sleep. I feel a little bad for keeping up, him up, but eh. Funny enough, what I could probably do a, as um, caveman is do a uh, council thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I, I did the council thing with Caveman to make Olabar forget the minus 15 thing he had of losing the role of the thing that lets you do the council thing. So, I don't know why I didn't do that sooner, but yeah. With good social, he can just kind of do that. If someone's got like a really bad, like, negative mood thing, like a per like a semi-permanent one that's like my, 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 uh, it doesn't cancel out, but like a, a thing happens, and now his mood's gonna be way better because of that being gone, which is nice. Saves me some trouble. Okay, don't care about that. Those are all fixed up. We're slowly but surely getting this built up. Emphasis on slowly. There was just a lot of build tasks we had to do, so. Why are you wearing that? Do I have like any sort of like specific attire? The baton of life. <laughs> a freaking heavy machine gun is a, is a one of our relics <laughs> and a crossbow <laughs> that's silly you can get really like really nitty gritty with these kind of stuff if you really want to spend a lot some time like specifying things It can get like intensely nitty gritty with it. Oh wow, I've almost been going for three hours. Holy shit! <laughs> I kind of just I've, I've just been kind of in the flow state of managing these little fucking goobers. And and now you look like you look like more of a cultist than I would like, Genevieve. Let's find you with something else to wear. Like the like that. How about you wear this cowboy hat instead? Instead of the fucking cultist fucking mask looking shit. What are you wearing? They're just like randomly changing clothes now. What are you wearing? Tribal wear whatever. Whatever, dude. I'm sure later he'll put something on that's more fitting. Like if it's cold to put on like a parka or whatever. Well, I kind of want to force him to back to wearing, um, eventually we're going to be making some, um, like from these, um, Devil Strand, we'll be making Devil Strand, um, parkas and stuff, because Devil Strand is very durable, and it makes really good dusters, and dusters are a pretty good form of, like, base armor. Pruning the tree, what else we got people doing? Stop! I don't like this cult mask. Perhaps I should make Genevieve create, create us some cowboy hats that are good. So you have a good one. You have a good one. One, two, three. What about caveman? How is this? Yours is good, so let's get. Four, let's try to have Genevieve make four more cowboy hats. She's very good at crafting, so that shouldn't be a, a deep, big deal. And we have lots of plain leather from a lot of the stuff that we just kill in general. Oh, we got another raid, huh? Oh, Mech Hive. Uh-oh. Um, well, that's a legionary. What are you? A combat support mechanoid with a wide-range bolt shield and mid-range needle gun designed to support other mechanoids. The, leg the legionary is vulnerable to anyone who can get inside its shield. And then we got a pikeman. We got a scorcher. Ugh, I don't like the sound of that. And then we've got 
a Lancer, and a Tesser. What is a Tesseron? A medium range combat mechanoid. While it's fairly vulnerable to attacks, the Tesseron's sweeping beam grazer can pierce thick armor and even ignite shielded targets. You don't sound like a lot of fun. We're probably going to try to have some. Um, and this is why we have the bigger trap hallway because these damn mechanoids will fuck your life up pretty bad if they can get a, get a hold of you. Uh huh. Well. Fucking weird looking ass. Um. I think we'll still have Genevieve do the cowboy hat stuff. It's a mending workbench, smelter, drug lab, tailor bench. We, I think we need a, uh, uh, like a gun making thing. Let me see, what's it called? Like maybe a machining table, guns, ammunition. Yeah, I think we need a machining table. I feel like in here would be a good spot for it. right here and we can move this um, shelf a little further away yeah the fuck just oh, it's probably some sort of predator killing something yeah it was this timber wolf killing this squirrel that's probably gonna eat Caveman's gonna go right here and stand by. As are you. As are you. What are you wearing, gear wise? A hyperweave padded pants and a sash. Heh, <laughs> alright. Can't remember exactly where I got those from, but. Alright, Diva's building. She's gonna. You're gonna. We're gonna want you to come inside there. Deves, uh, have you stand right there? Vagabond seeking charity. Well, you're probably a group of poor travelers, including a child, are approaching looking for help. Travelers are begging for 620 silver. They want the silver so they can buy a friend back who has been recently kidnapped. You can give the items to tra the travelers by selecting a colonist and right clicking on Minas Minas Row. These travelers are not part of any faction. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without consequence. Well, they might not have a very good time on the map when the... Yeah, they're not going to have a very good time with these mechanoids. Good play is infused, huh? Heavy... Heavy... That doesn't seem like one I want someone to have. Wait. Does that mean, um... Oh no, that might be good. Heavy. It was like nine, like less aiming time. That seems like it'd be pretty good. Um, in that case, how about you grab this uh, cowboy hat then? In preparation for fun activities to come. Plus, you look like that's, like that's like a fucking cultist. Put this. No, bad. I don't want want people wearing that mask. Now he's back to the back to the frontiersman look. I'm gonna have husband stand there instead. Uh, let's see. Travelers betrayed. Oh no! I have a feeling you know what happened. Oh. I have a feeling that's what happened. Yeah, this... Oh, no. Oh, no! This warg killed the child. Jeez. Oh, and... and oh, no! Holy shit, that's badass, but no! What are they... 
like angry. I think they're all bleeding out slowly but surely, or they're like just running away. I don't, I don't know what's going on. They might. Beggars from Cadio Coalition are fleeing. Well, I didn't want to do anything up to with them or about them, but the uh, the mechanites, the mechanoids decided it was time to fry some people, and then this freaking warg's like, ah, oh, sweet food, and just ate a child. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, Randy. You and your fun, fun times. Let's see. Let's get Olabar kind of in a, pos in a position to where I can move him as needed. Huntsman's watching for targets. Genevieve is making cowboy hats. Diva's watching for targets. Do I have any other cowboy hats that are not terrible? No, I think we haven't, she hasn't made any quite yet. Okay, Diva's in position, you're in position, you're in position, you are, and you are. So now we're gonna have to just wait and see what the mechanoids do. Oh, another cowboy hat was made. Steady, I'm guessing, or spiked. Or is this, is this a sturdy wool romp? Oh, that's for the child eventually. I, I forgot we made that for the child. And we got this uh, spiked plain leather hat. Melee, oh, melee damage multiplier, you say? Um, hey, uh, caveman, you want to uh, do 12% more fucking damage? That might come in... It's a rainy thunderstorm while we're getting raided by all these robots and people are burning to death and just... <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Randy Random's really just going off. Alright, let's... Hey, Diva, why don't you wear this cowboy hat instead of that little... Um, Davy Crockett hat. And then this last one will probably be for Olivar. All right, everyone's in position. I just have to watch, make sure Genevieve doesn't go do something stupid. Uh, good. Uh, the other one she made is infused. More. Ar okay. Hey, Olivar, you want to go? You want to go grab this real quick? Basically, it's another mod that, like, makes more when you create, like, weapons or armor, it has a chance to be kind of, like, enchanted, in a sense. Oh. Ugh. You know what? It's fine. It's raining. Don't worry about it. See, my hope is that, um, well, okay, what's Genevieve gonna do? Breastfeed? Okay, whatever. Ooh. We'll take those. Yeah, I was hoping this one is gonna, like, die before some of the others. Where is... Which ones have already been accounted for? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Red dot there. I don't know if there's any other mechanoids that aren't dead already. There's a legionnaire, there's the there's a lancer, there's a tesseron. Let's 
That's a, that's a horse. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going to make a mistake by having one of the people go try to shoot the scorcher and it go horribly wrong. And then they get like back attacked by this fucking pikeman that's still on the move. Don't know where this scorcher is going. <laughs> it's just bumping into this. I'm not sure why, but honestly, after this, um, Pikeman dies. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Dead. Boop. Y you getting it out of your system? Yep. They got it out of their systems, and now the spike traps are... Those spike traps are powerful. God damn. They didn't even make they didn't even make it past our first set of what we're gonna have to replace all of these with bone, aren't we? Yeah, we're we're gonna have to. It's it's too good. All right, back to, back to work. Gen Genevieve, you're supposed to eat food when you're hungry, you weirdo. Well, that wasn't nearly as scary as uh, it could have been. Admittedly, those are lower tier me um, mechanoids. Those are not like centipedes. Or like scythers or whatever. Still scary, still a little scary, but all in all, not as threatening as they could have been. I think we are gonna replace some more of these traps with uh with but with bone as the opportunity arises. Cause those are just very powerful, and we have lots of bones still. I think Genevieve's on a weird sleep schedule right now, so she's gonna just be researching most of the night. Fine by me. Let me check my Discord real quick, make sure I'm not missing anything super vital. Okay, I am not. Okay, Olabar is, Olabar is playing with this tree. shooting star a shooting star just crossed the sky followed by a distant rumbling what could have been that, been that just fell out of the sky well let's jump to the let's look on the world map and see it's a sick ass like character design um a crash site a spaceship oh that sounds slightly ominous um see this is where we are Hunting work site. You detected a, a hunting work site nearby, controlled by Kanevu Run Ship. If you wish, you can raid the camp to collect loot. Since Kaneva is just a small independent group, you can attack them without any broader diplomatic diplomatic consequences. I'd be more interested in this component one. Uh, let's look at the factions. Uh, I'm almost certain it's probably like either these imps or these pigs or maybe the 
Yidikins or... I mean, anyone that says hostile, it's probably those have this... Faction, Pulp, Moikla, I still have no idea what faction that is. Well, these other ones have like faction names, but I guess this is just like a group of random people. And eh, whatever. Back to the fun times. Oh, we have this now. Uh, let's see. Bills. Bill, 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 Bill. We can make flak jackets, which are, um... Pretty decent, all considered. Flak vests are good, too. Let's see. We have some weapons. Smoke launcher. I think you can use smoke launchers to uh, cheese gro uh, grinding out shooting skill. Because you can have them just aim at the ground and just shoot smoke, which doesn't really fucking do anything. But you can do that to just train someone's shooting skill, which that could be fun. Have really strong shooters. <laughs> just have D Diva stand there just shooting smoke everywhere like all day, every day, until her shooting skill is like 10 or something. Well, after you're done breastfeeding, how about you go make that smoke launcher? Yeah, she already has a very high crafting skill, so whatever she kind of does... Shadow crash was this. You have intercepted a distress signal. A hostile shuttle carrying a, a sanguophage master and three thralls is having trouble with its engines. You can use signals to draw it down to a crash near Catasbia. Once the ship has crashed, you can fight the sanguophage and her minions. If you can capture the master, you can force her to turn one of your colonists into a sanguophage. Sanguophages are ageless, deathless superhumans powered by an architect created archites in the bloodstream. They are beautiful and extremely intelligent. They can heal any injury, never suffer from disease or poison. In combat, they can launch deadly spines and heal injured friends. The price is that sanguophages must consume hemogen derived from human blood to survive, and they must periodically death rest for long periods. They're easily destroyed by fire and slowed down by UV. They're basically vampires. That'd be cool, but I'd... Nah. Maybe some other time. <laughs> And we've got a crafting skill up. Go eat some food, you weirdo. She just, like, never eats food. Real ADHD brain. God, we have a lot of donkeys now. <laughs> How many damn... Nine? Nine? How many... Okay. I need to look at our, our animals here. Okay, so, let's see, we got Donkey Fall. One, two, three, four, five, six. Honestly, uh, we might, mm, trying to think of what I would name these donkeys to make sure I know to keep them. Maybe not just Donkey 1 through fucking 7. <laughs> Maybe like an actual name. Uh... Hmm. 
don't know what names I would use. Okay, that's actually really cute. Um, we'll just we'll just give the donkeys random names, like all the girls and the whatever donkeys we're keeping, we'll give them random names. Aurora, that's actually cute too. All right. And the ones that are not named, we will slaughter them whenever they grow up. Freaking Jesus Christ. Um, three of the adult girls we have are already fucking pregnant again. You can have you can have an awful lot of donkeys. Maybe I don't need six girls. Maybe yeah, that's, yeah, whatever. We'll keep them. Spunky. That's great. MJ. <laughs> Potpourri. <laughs> That's immensely cute. All right. Um, Phantom. All right. And. Haruto. No, you're, you're, you're going to get me named Naruto because, of course. <laughs> Um, got yeah, Naruto, and we'll name this one fucking Sasuke. <laughs> Why am I like this? Anyway, Naruto and Sasuke sleep over here. What if our animal sleeping spots were touching? <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Uh... All right, so we've got we got it sorted out which donkeys we want to keep. So any ones that are, um, we'll have to check every back every once in a while to kind of keep this kind of under control. Because as it is, these things are just gonna consume a ton of hay. So perhaps I should. Um, Baby. Yeah, if we if we if we slaughtered a baby, that wouldn't get us much meat or anything like um, meat. 39 meat, yeah, we really want to be worth our time. Suppose we could, though. But they'd be worth a lot more food if they grow up. Then again, once we get this all grown, it's going to be a lot of hay grass. Okay, Genevieve's working more on this... Uh, the smoke launcher. Diva, please don't build. Please don't work on building the trap while someone's standing right on top of where the trap is. You fucking fool. <laughs> and I'll just clean all the the donkey dirt. Do, 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 donkey dirt. Yeah, we got an excellent smoke launcher. A wide barreled smoke shell launcher. The shell will impact reason, releasing a cloud of smoke, obscuring incoming shots, and preventing turrets from locking on. <laughs> this one's a piece of art. Olabar's Vengeance. This weapon bears an image of Olabar Chibo being harmed out of bleak necessity. Olabar is covered in guts. The image contrasts de with de defeat with decency. 
This representation refers to the hurting of Olabar on 6th of September, 5502. That might have been last stream at some point, probably. Um, playing poker, huh? After that, you're gonna go, uh... Oh yeah, that, f that fills up stuff real fast. Does this actually grind up her shooting? I feel like it patched that. Oh wait, no, I think you have to actually be shooting at, at someone. Well... <laughs> I don't know if that'd be small. I was gonna say, let's shoot the baby with a smoke launcher! <laughs> It can't, doesn't do damage, I think. <laughs> I have a feeling this would be a very bad idea. Let me double check things. Stopping power, range, range cooldown, direct hit chance. Miss radius, aiming time. I think I'd rather shoot it at someone else. That's not the baby. Room's all smoky now. Does it make you sad or something? Minor pain. Oh yeah, you've got a scratch scar on your torso. Great. It's just just enough to have her be in constant pain. Lovely. Oh god damn it! Who's got malaria? Bean. Oh, the ch bean has the mal. How does Be bean have fucking malaria? You know what, whatever. Looks like you're gonna be out of commission for a while. Um, uh, lady, you are going to, um... You're on, you're back up tending. I don't want you tending right now, old bar. Like, your, your doctoring is pretty okay, but malaria is serious shit. <clears throat> Caveman openly insulted ladies' fighting methods. You're, you're both melee fighters. That's probably not smart. Why are you being like this? You're gonna just cause a fight and y'all just, like, come to blows at, like, the worst possible time. That's not a, that's not strictly a fun sign. I think the immunity is catching up. But, we, but we're going to need Caveman to do the preach health thing as soon as possible. Because that will help guarantee survival. Um, Diva is going to be fine because she's super immune. By virtue of being a, a uh, waster. So she gains immunity gain pretty fast. She probably would have been fine without medicine, honestly, but we are more concerned about being here. I would prefer the child to not just die of malaria. That would suck. That would not feel very good at all. <clears throat> Feed the child. 
I think being having full hunger helps with immunity gain as well. I'm just kind of waiting till this is ready so I can use it on Bean immediately. Oh yeah, yeah, Diva's gonna be fine. I'll just kind of, I can kind of ignore Diva for a while. Mostly just waiting for this to... Oh, he's going for it. Why are you in a bad mood? Oh, because of your expectations. It's like eight less mood points because of being the uh, preacher. Does Lady have a reduced... Yeah, she does too. She's generally in a fine enough mood anyway, so... Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we're waiting for this so that I can... Uh, give Little Bean the boost to health. Waiting. Giggling. Child's giggling. Bean, why are you not the same ideology? I mean, you're a baby. I guess you can't. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, we're going to have to pay more attention to... Well, after you're done with doing that, go feed your baby. Jesus. Stop trying to make another one and take care of the one you got already. <laughs> uh well, so I guess we'll hold on to that thing since I can't use it on uh, Bean right now, because Bean is well a baby that has no ideology, so it can't we can't do the thing. <clears throat> so the best we can really do is keep Bean's hunger as high as possible, because that I think that affects. Um, I think that affects um, immunity gain. Trying to see if there's like somewhere to see. Oh, the baby's got 28% smelting speed. That's cool. <laughs> hmm. Eighteen bones. Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. Hundred percent in bed, resting. Okay, so as long as we keep, uh, uh, we're gonna be doing as good as we really can as long as we keep being fed. But all you really can do is the immunity is ahead of the malaria. 
almost by 5% now. Just a matter of keeping it. Just keeping things going. <clears throat> How are these doing? Doing pretty good. About halfway grown. Make sure it's clean in here. It is. So we can keep the food topped off. Pop Popery is given birth. We now know we now no longer have <laughs> open sleeping spots. How's your disease looking? Oh wow, holy shit, okay, you're, you're fine. Just go do something, I guess, I don't know. Mostly so I can turn this off, because it doesn't need to be on right now. Oh. Caught you red-handed. Jesus. <laughs> Pop Popery's prank, you just got it done. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I think Diva is going to be fine on the whole malaria front. Like, unless the 10 quality gets, like, super bad. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Go, go, pl go feed your child. We need to keep Bean's hunger high to keep the uh, the immunity gap there, just in case something goes wrong and we're unable to pay attention to Bean. Oh. You run the fuck away right now. At least that thing's got to kind of go around a little bit. Oh, shit. You gonna make it? Oh, fuck. <sighs> she got lucky. The frickin' Lynx kicked dirt in her eye, but that's about all she got. Ugh, I fucking hate predators. I fucking hate them. There's no other animals around that this thing wanted to hunt, so it decided that Diva looked like a bit of a snack, which, yes, but no. <laughs> Fucking asshole. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna go hunt a- Oh, that's cute. You're gonna hunt a squirrel now? Asshole. You know what? While you're doing this, let's- I don't know if this is something you can- we can do. <laughs> is you gaining XP? Oh, you are. Alright. Well, this <laughs> seems a little janky, but you know what? <laughs> this is gamey as fuck, but she's technically shooting people. There's just smoke everywhere. Still getting the XP. I think she has to be directly targeting someone. Or hit or directly hitting someone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now there's just a bunch of smoke in the freaking room. Oh 
I'd really rather you not do this right now, considering there's a war- uh, There's a probably hungry warg in this fucking lynx here. But, who am I to stop you at this point? That's partially why I want snipe- why I want sniper rifles, so I can just kill these predators from a distance very easily. Oh, we need, let's look at- let's pay attention to Bean real quick. Let's look at your stuff here. Uh, almost nine higher, which is good. And yours is not even, don't even have to worry about yours. You're, you're not even going to get super sick before yours is done. I guess it's a good, good a time as any to try to finish this off. This is then we can, uh... If I can finish this building stuff, that'd be good. Because right now, this um, Lynx is fed, so it's not going to bother us. But hey, Diva got a nice uh, bit of a shooting level up from shooting the people that are researching. That's certainly a way to do it. Honestly, Diva probably doesn't even fucking need medicine anymore for her malaria. She probably didn't need it in the first place, but... Uh, I'm gonna have her just finish building these if she can. She's currently not in danger of any... Okay, I was just like, uh-oh. Warg makes me a little nervous, but it's it's also been feeding recently. Ah, whatever. Go to sleep. No, oh, that's a priority, Missy. I'm less worried about D.Va, more worried about our, this child surviving. Okay, immunity is like 11%, it's probably safe to pay less attention, but... Would still rather pay attention in general. Okay, kitchen is nice and clean. Is researching. She's. We're getting closer to having that microelectronics, which is gonna be nice. Just takes a while. A lot of things take twice as long for us to research because we started as we had a tribal start. Okay, she's had Psychite recently. Wasn't sure when. Just feeding the baby. <clears throat> Alright, baby is in a good place. doing this stuff. Good on you. Yeah, 
You can play billiards later. Finish the fucking building that piece of wall there. I want this uh, Lynx to leave. Once we reach level, ooh, nice. That'll over that'll overall increase the total research speed, since he's often researching when he's got nothing else to do. What are you up to now? You're just oh uh, oh, you're getting around to that. Okay. <clears throat> the chance of setting your own tra spike traps off is is low but not zero so i always get a little nervous when people walk around them if you can see your fine mail just shoot them with a oh. caveman's lighting it up <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Go in here, get some more shooting XP. I want to see this go up. Pretty comfortable. I could probably be shooting the baby with this. I'm pretty sure this isn't even like making their like social go lower. No, it's not. They just don't like her because she's I don't know, not very polite or something. Uh, let's see, Huntsman. Let's make sure that didn't change anything either. No, that has nothing to do with it. So I could probably have her shoot the baby with no consequences, and the baby's a pretty static target, so. <laughs> this is so awful. <laughs> is that, am I getting shooting XP? No. It's probably because it, they don't count the baby as a real person. <laughs> this gets worse the more I say things about it. So we're going to just not. We're just going to stop talking. Oh yeah, you're breastfeeding Bean, and then... Quickly! While she's... While they're breastfeeding! Get some shooting XP! <laughs> yeah, you get a pretty good amount. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Quickly, get some XP. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, all right, uh, enough of that. Go to go to sleep. <laughs> I mostly want her to be better shooting, so when she's not like doing anything important. Wait, where's that Lynx? If that Lynx is not in our little zone anymore, I want to force. For some, for Steve to wake up and do that real quick. It's all right. I need, I need you to do stuff for me there, friend. Is this Lynx? Uh, it's kind of hungry. We'll, 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 we'll worry more about doubling up the walls once this Lynx is locked out.
There we go. Now they shouldn't be able to pathfind into here. And this is ready for us to build one of these. Run a line through here and... Fun times. Let's have Diva build a door real quick. And they'll move this door down here. Oh. It doesn't look like you're playing. Caveman made Bean smile. Or maybe, oh, what? Oh, condition needs tending. <laughs> Lady, you need to get on that. There you go. Good job. Was that uh, 68? That's still pretty good 10 for freaking, uh, pretty good 10 quality for, um, like as far as, um, this word is bothering me. That's still pretty good 10 quality for, for herbal medicine. Usually you don't really get much higher than like 70-ish or so, like what? Okay, how are you doing there, little little guy? Hey, not okay. Yours is almost done. Yours is almost certainly. Yeah, yours is just gone already. Cause you just don't care. Genevieve is a slip. All the bars. I specifically made this wall around this because when I would get raids, um. Raiders wander in and just kind of casually kill these and these take like five days to make like a new one if one dies and it takes like another five days for it to get reassigned so it's just tedious to have to do that um yeah we built that and also keeps Olibar from getting targeted by wild animals when he goes to tend the tree every like five seconds it seems like what are you doing animal filth okay Yeah, next next year, as in like next uh, in 504, we're gonna probably clear out more more of this area and plant a bunch more hay grass. Cause if we're gonna have constant donkeys, we might need more than what we have. Maybe I don't really know. So we definitely have less than what we had a while ago, but we also have a lot of it. It's gonna be coming in before long. All right. Rise and grind. And by grind, I mean shoot smoke. Playing cards, are ya? This is a this is absurd. I a caboose has given birth. So many donkeys in here. <laughs> Dang. All right, switch targets. Hey, you got six shooting by shooting people with the smoke launcher. <laughs> okay, you've already kind of capped out your um, learning bonus for shooting. So uh, how about you do something else? Play, play billiards. Nice. So yeah, Diva is mostly a shooter. Caveman's a meleeer. Genevieve's neither slash none. Um, both Huntsman and Olabar are capable of shooting and melee, although they're kind of flip flopped. Where um, where Olabar has got a p burning passion in melee, and Huntsman has very good shooting. So yeah, he's our He's gonna be our designated sniper. 
there's so much smoke in here. <laughs> I love that. There's just a ton of smoke. Phantom is pregnant. Well, of course. I need to look at our, our animals. Oh, we got all the named ones. And then anything else that's grown up is... Oh, we've we've got four. We have got f currently got four donkeys that can get pregnant. How old is Phantom? Phantom's just old enough too. Like three days ago, I was just like, "Oh, happy birthday!" <laughs> oh, we got a lot of of granite. That's nice. Look at our uh, predator, our wildlife predators. Let's see where they are. Yeah, there's that lynx. It's hungry, so going anywhere near that would be a uh, bad idea. Cause it's just wandering around, probably wanting to find some food. So if anyone gets in the vicinity, they will uh, become targeted for food. A lot of the stuff we do in bait do, that we do re as of late is just in the base, so it's a little less dangerous to exist. But yeah, I want to get a sniper rifle so that when the animals like this are asleep, we can just pick them off. So sure we're gonna have like a few people shoot with sniper rifles at once, just blast them. Where's Bean? Oh, Bean is asleep in the bed. Are you old enough to sleep in bed? Oh, probably because this is a, uh... oh, I was like, is Bean that old now? Feed the child. The immunity has developed, thankfully. I don't know what it ended up getting to, but we, I know we're at least like 10 or so ahead of it. All right, things are going pretty good. I want to turn this thing off. We can connect it to this little spot right here, so that it don't doesn't draw power. I think we can change light colors. I could, like I don't know if these people have favorite colors or not. Uh, what is this? Kind of like a teal color. I don't know what color that is. Cause if so, I'd like to have um, their favorite colors in the rooms or something like that, just for the fun of it. This looks kind of like it. Well, there. Sorry, I wasn't trying to look. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Brown. That's fucking boring. <laughs> hot pink. Um, let's see if we can find something between brown and hot pink. <laughs> mm. 
I like Barbie girl pink in their bedroom. What about you, caveman? Captain Caveman, what, what's your favorite? Is that fucking gray? I think that's gray. Your, your bedroom's already kind of gray, but you know what? Well, I guess you just don't really get one because your color is boring. <laughs> Yours is kind of like sky blue kind of-ish. Um, kind of like this. It's like the McDonald's color. Or that, that or it's Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> these doing there's these take a long time to grow without even without being in these vats because normally their growth rate is like uh, this fragile mushroom is genetically engineered to produce a silk net that is both difficult to tear and soft to touch while the mushroom takes a very long time to grow only exotic ultra tech fabrics that perform its devil strand fibers some say it's called double strand because of its red color other think it owes its name to the greed it inspires in people yeah, it's, um, grow time is normally 22 and a half days, but, yeah, usually it takes, like, twice as long, but, yeah, since it's, like, 280% growth speed, it, it probably gonna end up being, like, 16 or so days until they, they grow fully. Yo, Diva, you up? No, you're gonna go train your shooting. Train in big air quotes. Like 160 shooting XP per... Ridiculous. Okay, Bean is... It's, yeah, Bean's fine. Okay, we don't have to pay as much attention to Bean now. <laughs> Frankly, not even that bad, uh... Sucked another target. You can still have her just sit here and blast away, but the, the XP gain is much less, so yeah, it's fine to have her not do that anymore. <laughs> oh, we got some with weed. Uh, let's not sow any more of that. Grab a hold of weed. Yeah, we have so much wood. We gotta turn it we gotta turn these into something else. 
Uh, how about we turn them to, uh, carriers? Because we have way too much, way, way, way. Too much. All right, he's gonna go, he's gonna. All right, now they're gonna go in their little cocoons and in five days they'll be carrier dryads and they can help us haul like stones around and stuff, which honestly be really useful. Plus we have way too much freaking. Okay, I'm just. Gonna, I'll let those finish off, and then in the in the morning we'll have Olabar plant some uh, cotton there instead. Granted, we can grow we can grow cotton and. Uh, cotton and the smoke leaf in here. Wait, these are these uh, growth temperature? Ah, okay. So we have to we have to be cautious of the temperatures in here. That'll help with the temperature a little bit. Ritual opportunity soon. Sixth of Juggist, we can do the, um, the party of holism. Which means this needs to probably move out yonder. Like we can put that out here for now, somewhere. Look at our uh, wildlife tab again for the predators. You're way down here. Those are both. What the hell is this? What the? Are you a big fucking otter? <laughs> Long extinct giant mammals brought back to life as part of the megafauna project. The largest muscle. They oh, they're fucking otters. And hydriodon, and hydriodon is a bear-sized ancestor of modern otters. And a very dangerous predator that used to be a big threat to early humans. Great swimmers, a surprisingly swift on the oh god. Oh it's gee yeah, let's not mess with them. Like let's just let them eat all the deer or something. Jesus Christ. Um these two grizzly bear, where are you? You're way down here, so we don't have to worry about you as much. Warg. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can kind of get some context where these things are. The warg is there, so that's a little close. But the lynx is even closer, so I'm, st I'm just worried about getting D.Va near anything, really. Yeah. With any luck, we can get this thing to leave the map by starving it out, but... What killed you? No idea. But I'm surprised the lynx hasn't gone to go eat it. Instead harassing me. Diva, what are you? Oh. Spunky has given birth. What happened over here? When, what happened to you? Are you the same grizzly bear? Oh, you're a different one. Well, what happened to you? 
Uh, oh! <laughs> there was a warg that the grizzly bear was fighting. The grizzly bear tore the warg in the head. The warg perished. Oh, that's dead too. Well. How about we very carefully go collect these two? Because they're probably worth a good amount of meat. Lynx is way up there. Different other warg is over yonder. That grizzly bear is over yonder. Okay, there's no predators over here to really bother us from. Okay, well, fine. Other people have already earmarked those to pick up. We'll just take these. These whole entire animal, big ass animals, and throw them in the fridge. Might as well. It's free food. My bussy world. Hello, birdie. We are we're continuing the development of our lovely little base. We've started branching out to add this um, steam geyser to our our mushroom growing facility. No, we're not. We're probably not going to do organs in this playthrough. However. If I do another playthrough after this one, it's going to be a much less um, friendly playthrough. Because I've not really ever done like the organ harvesting, drug slinging kind of lifestyle <laughs> in world. And, well, I figured that'd probably be a good excuse to do it, honestly. However, the child is doing well. The, the child had malaria earlier, but they are fine. They are incapacitated. Eh, go to sleep, little child. <laughs> it doesn't. It is still a baby. We cannot give it cool arms. Can we do any? The bit. We, <laughs> we could give it wooden hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to I want to have a I want to make a super baby like with like super cool jeans with like robot arms or something I don't want to give it like the freaking pirate from Spongebob where it's like all wooden stubs <laughs> now we're just kind of expanding we got donkey town USA in here Frankly, we got way too fucking many. Let's let's look at the donkey situation. We 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 named some of them. We've got Cub. We've got so many fucking donkeys. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are not gonna be in the collective. The ones that are named are the ones we're gonna hold on to. Cause we got Caboose, Pop Popery, Phantom, Aurora. Spunky, MJ, and originally this one was called Haruto, but there's no way I couldn't name it Naruto. And then we got Sasuke, you know, they're life partners. And um, then we got Donkey Foles 1, 2, 4, and 3. I said, th I can't count. <laughs> and they're just eating all the hay in existence right now because, well, well that's them's the breaks. And these are ready to harvest. I need to have Olivar do that. I don't know what he's doing. I feel like I know what he's doing. Okay, I don't know what he was going to do previously. Why he was way out there, but... Oh, earlier we got raided by, like, a mechanoid raid, and... They had... We got raided by a mechanoid raid, but at the same time, we had these, like, charity people that wanted some silver, and they just kind of showed up at... The worst possible time they're up here, they're strolling around, and this mechanoid with like a laser beam was just fucking lighting them on fire. And this warg like killed and ate a child that was traveling with them in one gulp. It was pretty fucking gnarly. I was like, God damn it, Randy, why? Oh, the humanity. <laughs> it was pretty nuts. And I think a warg and a bear fought it out over here, and then both died because fucking course they did. And got a. This wild boar is just stinky. Uh, what else we got going on? Anything fun over here? No. Oh, we got some donkey. 
I'm trying to get to a point where we can have like six donkeys constantly making babies and we can just turn the babies into food. Which is probably what I should be doing with all these other babies. Like, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Just because we don't need these donkeys eating all the food, all, more food. And I th they do, they will give us uh, some meat. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, well, ladies somewhere. I think. Diva's bored playing poker. Oh, you're playing poker, huh? Well, how about you go poker by shooting a smoke launcher? Go! Smoke launcher, go! This trains their shooting skill. Just shooting people with a smoke launcher, not doing any damage. Quickly, she's breastfeeding, shoot her! <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Got like an entire like two skill levels from this smoke launcher that I made now. It's a totally legitimate way to raise your skills, don't question it. Um, how about you sow some cotton even if it doesn't all like finish growing in time that would be good to have a bit more we also set up this uh, indoor growing area during the winter time and since we don't need it for food right now we're just growing these double strand mushrooms to make cool clothing out of eventually. It take a while to grow, but much less time in this. Alright, you, you reached your, your shooting skill cap for today. Genevieve called Diva's mother a demon. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, she probably is a demon, but that's okay. We've got Hell's Kitchen in here. <laughs> why is the dining rooms? I know why the dining rooms. So all the callers are probably colonists are probably like, why is the dining room smoky? What are you wearing, Huntsman? I didn't even really like pay attention. He's like wearing like leather, just leather, <laughs> like leather, like adventurer strap clothing, and his cowboy hat. They look ridiculous. Oh damn, Olibar got all those planted pretty quick. And these are gonna turn into hauling things. Oh my god, a bulk goods trader. I haven't had one of these in a while. Yo, caveman. All these fuckers are from Veristan with their fucking purple masks. Where are they gonna show up? Are they gonna go they're gonna come in here and like are they gonna like hang out like Where are they going? Where, where are all you going? <laughs> oh, this is where they all hang. I mean, that's... There's worse places for them to congregate. Uh, let's go trade with them. Let's see. Um, we can actually sell some of these... Um, well, I think some of the don baby donkeys are already passed. I might have already killed them off. Let's see. Uh, what, what can we sell off? Uh, probably like cloth waist cloth <laughs> just stuff like this cloth cargo pants uh, keep those for warmth will they buy wood because we've got we've got some wood that we could sell maybe pumpkin can neutro amine yes I will buy all of that. Uh, let's see. Are they interested in wood? Let's search for wood. They are not interested in wood. That's unfortunate. I figured they would because we have... If you've noticed, we've got like 4,000 wood because the wood dryads are just really strong. 
you get them up and going, and then you just make, like, tons of free wood forever. Uh, let's see. Let's sell some of these odds and ends bits of, like, fur that don't really m amount to much. I'll sell this ambrosia as well. And this yayo, I don't want to see this shit. And this go juice, I don't want to see that shit either. Uh, garland, garland seeds are worth a little bit as well. It's not bad. Um, just looking at all the stuff I can sell that might be worth selling. Uh, I don't like this fucking thing. Well, we still have this bone chair. Uh, an outdoor lamp. Huh. Alright, cool. Um, chem fuel, they have that. We bought the neutroamine because we can use that to make medicine. Which is, would be nice to turn some of our um, herbal medicine to better medicine. In case we get, like, really fucked up. Uh, let's see. Light leather, pig skin, sell that. I mostly just use plain leather, honestly, for most of my uh, stuff. Uh, let me see if there's anything I can buy. We buy some goats. Nah. We could, we could sell Naruto for 225 dollars. Um, is there anything else we could buy? To make sure that we can... Hmm. No, no. Hmm, what is this? It's a weapon barrel. Not... Inher not extremely useful. Let's see. Enviro headgear of knowledge. Hmm. Interesting. Light walk. Joy wires cap. Hmm. Hardened leather and snazzy goggles. It's almost as if you could pile your way through someone's psyche with this cap equipped. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Pigskin. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, what else? Stool. Hmm. Hmm. Well, actually, yeah, we'll hold on to the ambrosia for now. And we'll just try to sell off some of this uh, extra, like, leather and stuff. I got my bear skin. Hmm. Uh, we have smoked leaf joints, but those are mostly for us to use for mood management. Uh, light leather, and we'll sell that too. All right, cool. Okay. All right, and those will get hauled soon. Lady will probably do it, or... Ooh, we finished, we just finished microelectronics. That's a big one. Uh, and that lets us get fun things like precision rifling. Okay, we need to, now we need to get a, um... Now we need to get the, um... high-tech research bench which means one of these needs to go away probably this one okay go breastfeed inspired no you're not gonna do surgery on any one but uh, did they get all the stuff already yeah they did sweet Let's see here. See if 
I move this one up in the corner here, I think we can still technically have uh, two people researching. Yeah, I think we can do that still, and then we can do, where was it? Wait, what can I make this out of? Steel, silver, plastic, okay, we'll just do it out of steel. Okay. And let's see, which one of you has, I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point, I think, which of the two does it. Because Diva's pretty good at construction, yeah, they're, they're about, they're literally the same. So, oh, well, that's gonna make a lot of a, a lot of mess. Thankfully, everything I mostly care about is now has been enclosed in walls. So honestly, the rest of the map can just kind of burn to ash if I care. Honestly. The flash storm is over. Cool. Whose blood is this? Gazelle? Where's, where's a, I don't see a gazelle anywhere. You probably ate the gazelle, didn't you? No, haven't recently. You, oh, we got some bison. Hi, son. <laughs> and then... I'm almost certain these have been eating the gazelles down there. Oh. That's, that's something else. Oh. Uh oh. I fucking hate predators. Oh, that's why. Hmm, do I care? I probably should. I mean, these aren't like super important in the slightest. It'd be kind of a waste not to take care of them, but there's predator there's predators around that might um where did... There's predators about the place, so I'm kind of concerned about them, um... Admittedly, they're all, like, down yonder now. Okay, that lynx is eaten, so... Maybe Lady will be fine going and doing that? Olivar's just like, nah, we're gonna beat, this, beat the fuck out of this fire. Uh, we gotta do some area shenanigans. Let's. Why did you step right in the fire, you fuck? Jesus Christ. Stepped right in the fire. I swear. 
What did, did you get burnt? A very gentle burn. All right, go go back and take care of yourself, I guess. That's a cool life tip, life hack though. Is if you if you um if you um draft someone and put them next to fire, they'll beat it out even if it's not in the area that they normally need to be in to beat out fires. Are you serious? <sighs> oh, when the hell did that happen? <sighs> Are you still just burning, dude? Son of a bitch. All right, lady, can you come uh, assist your your friend here? Because I was a goof and apparently, is that still happening? No, I don't think it is. No, the work's fine. Because I was a goof and thought the character was smart. Okay, he put the fires out, but he's a little burned. All right, how about y'all uh, go, um, not, not that. How about y'all go home and not do stupid shit? <sighs> Granted, it was kind of my fault that Olabar kind of stood on the fire. Stop smoking weed, go tend to Olabar first. And then go sm oh, okay, I guess you'd change your mind on the whole smoking weed thing. Eh, the burns won't take too long to heal. This fire is gonna last for a while. Until, um, probably until- Crispy, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hope you're having fun, Cloudy. Were you are you, are you playing Graveyard Keeper or are you doing more um, FF14? Yeah, there's a lot of fire right now because of a uh, flash storm. Randy's like, oh hey, have some fire. He's like Prometheus. He granted the world fire, whether the world wanted it or not. <laughs> Nolbar just covered in bandages from his burns, just playing with the tree. Of course he is. Oh, you fell asleep? That works too. It's the weekend. Get your get your plants on, buddy. Huntsman has awoken. He's making he's making more weed. He's taking the weed and making weed. We've got a lot of smoke leaf. A lot of fucking donkeys. Uh, let's look at our donkeys again. Donkey. We're gonna keep six donkeys. Smoke weed every day. That, that, that's what they're doing. They've been doing it. <laughs> that's, they've been they've been doing that. Earlier I caught two of them smoking weed at the same time. <laughs> oh wow, what do you there's no way you don't have something to do. Oh. 
I'll give you something to do. What about you? Oh. I don't have a, I didn't select another research project. Whoops. Okay, assault rifles shoot a three round burst, so they can do 33 a shot. Allegedly, I don't really know how like the, all the math works. But pretty good accuracy, probably better than whatever I have currently, which I think, well, we're, we're researching that anyway, but let's see, look at, let's look at Huntsman's weapon. Cause he's kind of like, got like, oh, he has an assault rifle. That's what he has. He has just a, a stand, Standard one, so maybe we can make a really good one for him. Although we're gonna make him a sniper because he's already really good at shooting. Shooting. And Diva's just pl they're just bored playing poker. Get some get some skill. I'm gonna shoot and skill up by just blasting Genevieve quickly. Oh, she's breastfeeding. <laughs> That's absurd. Compensated combat. What's this? Red Snail, High Chief of the Gray Mule Branya, wants you to help save one of his caravans. The caravan is being hunted near Cataspia by two groups of Yidakin from... Colstitro Roar Clan. Red wants you to signal the Yidakin to draw them away from the caravan and towards you. The first group was composed of one drifter, one mercenary gunner, two mercenary sni- oh, ugh. Six wild boars. I know why they have six wild boars, because they have a ability called, like, War Call. I don't want to deal with those enemies like that cuz yeah that's a lot of enemies anyway go diva go all right switch to your main target who's probably gonna be uh, huntsman I want her to be researching. Because she has, you know, 20 fucking intellectual. You can do that. And switch to Genevieve now. For getting your for your shooting training. Alright, your shooting your shooting training is maxed out for the day. Go clean dirt or something, I guess, and just, it's just smoke everywhere. I mean, you could still keep shooting, but the, the skill point gains are much, are much, much lower when they've reached this, like, kind of red thing. Granted, this is a mod that shows everything qu like this. I think it's called Rim Hut. It's really good. Like, mods make up a lot of, like, really good stuff. Oh, no! Hello, Ghostly. I didn't know you were streaming today. How'd that go? Were you, were you doing art? We're playing RimWorld. In case anyone was, uh, any of your viewers don't know who I am. Oh, RE4? Awesome. The new remake is sick as shit. But in case any of your, uh, viewers don't know who I am, I'm Mobbis. I play video game and I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I'm, I'm terrible at games, but I like having fun with games. So I play video games and try to fundraise. But yeah, the remake is super good. Super, super duper fucking good. But yeah, we're playing RimWorld on a uh, Randy Random difficulty. There was a flash storm that like lit like this whole fucking area on fire. It's still burning. And we got our nice little colony here. We're still working on some stuff. Like we're working on getting a second one of these over here and then linking them up so I can grow even more mushrooms for clothing and stuff in there. We've got a nice death hallway with a bunch of traps we're growing some plants some plants we got our funny little tree over here 
We've got Donkis. We got some solar panels, and we got a research thing. Our our dining room is full of smoke because uh, Diva here was just shooting smoke launcher to get some tr shooting experience. So yeah, we're just um, having a vibe worthy time. Uh, let me look at the amount of the predator population on the map and where they are. Okay, you're there, you're there, you're there. You are there. I don't like that you're right there. I don't like that at all, actually. Alright, well... We're gonna do. Some, we're gonna move some stuff around. All right, Diva. Since the, there's not too many prayers nearby right now, let's have you try to do some stuff. Cause what? Uh, someone's gonna run off and deal with that now. I bet. Someone that's not doing anything's gonna probably run over there and like go. Yeah, all of ours running off to fight some fires. Have, have a freaking big gay firefighter calendar with Olabar on it. <laughs> Cause I wanna I wanna make I wanna thicken this wall out a little bit. Oh you're gonna go beat some fires out too? That's fine. No reason even care is because these plants here just kind of naturally grow and show up sometimes and they give us stuff we, they give us drugs that we can sell for money <laughs> although honestly at this point we can grow plenty of drugs on our own if we really want to and we kind of are because diva here since her type is like the face mask people from doctor who uh <laughs> her her genotype her race or whatever she needs a psychite in her system to function properly. So I have her set to every like two days or so to have a sippy of her little drink, a special little drink right here. So that she can um, not fall into a fucking coma. Because after 30 days of not taking any psychite, she'll go into a coma if she um, doesn't have any. Okay, ladies, I'm gonna go beat the fire out. Beat the fire out. Just beat it. Did you stop? Where'd you go? Oh, you beat like one fire out and you're like, ah, I think that's enough. If the fire comes over here, I don't care. They're not gonna get, it's not gonna get in the walls. That's... Now, ordinarily, you can't, like, put out fires that are not in your home area automatically, but if you move next to them when they're drafted, you can. It can be a little, it can be a little janky, though, because sometimes you, like, path wrong and, like, they step into a fire. Okay, that fire... Honestly, the rest of the fire can fucking burn. Let me, uh... Go to our, our, our areas, or zones, or whatever. Mmm. Don't care. Mmm. Don't care. Uh, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Like, the, the game generates a, a very uh, generous amount of uh, area around structures you build as a home area, which is cool. Helps you keep maintenance of stuff, but, like, sometimes it's just excessive. Like, having it on some stuff is pretty useful, like, walls, so that they'll be, like, queue up repair jobs or whatever, but otherwise, yeah, it can get a little annoying. Like, if there's random fires, your character's like, oh, I have, to, I have to stop what I'm doing to beat out this fire that's, like, halfway across the map. Which, admittedly, I do want, like, an area around this right here. Because it's these aren't vital to have, but they're useful. So it would be kind of a shame to not keep those safe. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, we got this. That's there because that would say a little ruin. And this is our corpse disposal area, so I guess that makes sense. Kind of. Not really. We just go there and drop corpses in the water and then leave. So that we don't have to look at them. Although we could set up a, cremat a crema crematorium right here. It's kind of what the plan was. Be a lot quicker to um, get rid of bodies that way. Uh, let's see. But yeah, right now we're kind of in like the busy work kind of part of the playthrough. We're not like struggling to really survive much or anything. We got a fridge full of just dead animals. Some of them are just random bodies we found out and about. Some of them are things we killed. Earlier we uh, had like a, a royal tribute uh, collector people around. So we shot a thrumbo and it like fought them, not us, and then we killed it. It, it died and then we, we put it in our freezer. <laughs> you do what you can, what you got. Oh, we, have, we also have a child named Bean who is two years and 29 days old and the children in this game grow four times at the speed which is nice that'd be cool when you have an actual colonist eventually out of that uh, Genevieve is doing research big brain shit she's breastfeeding Yummy, yummy. Oh, I mean, we, we have baby food that we've made, but she can just breastfeed basically forever. As long as she has a child that is uh, capable of needing, you know, milk, she'll do it. And that makes it to where she has a less chance of getting knocked up again. Because, like, as you know, I saw that, I was like, no. I was literally just saying that I was just donkey giving birth. Kill. We don't need more donkeys. Kill. He's playing with his little tree out here. <laughs> pretty soon these should be done. Mushrooms are getting pretty big. Yeah, they're almost done done. Uh, let's go to our work here. Grow. That should be Olabar only. Plant cut should be Olabar only. Set patient to one. Okay. All right, cool. Party of holism opportunity. Every year on six of Juggest, holiest can have a special celebration. To begin the ritual, select one of the following. Click the begin party of holism. <clears throat> oh, we can do the party of holism. Let's see. Big old party time. They're gonna. Well, someone's a. You know what? Um. Let's. Yeah, you're almost unsleepy anyway. <clears throat> I'll wait till everyone wakes up, and then we'll have the party. Popery just had it squirted one out, and there's another. You're pregnant again. It's one of our donkeys named Popery because random names are funny like that. Alright, let's just have that now. Genevieve's just gonna be asleep for a while anyway. Her sleep cycle's weird because she has to, she breastfeeds. So she's it's fine. And we're gonna head outside and This might give us a new colonist if it's really good. Potpourri, 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 potpourri. <laughs> oh, 
Unforgettable party of holyism. Making the lanterns is a time of laughter. Everyone gets 10 plus mood for six days. Your sky lanterns have attracted some friendly travelers. They will visit and leave a gift. Ooh. Your sky lanterns have attracted some friendly travelers. The travelers were amazed by the spectacle you created and hope they'll get to participate next time. They will vi Yes. Hopefully they don't get attacked by some sort of wild animal that's very hungry on their way here. That'd be most unfortunate. Well, funny enough, these are part of our faction, are part of our religion, even though they're not our tribe. But they're from the Grey Mule Branya, which are another tribe. But that's confusing. Confusing, but you know what? We'll we'll um we'll we'll all allow it. Okay, stop cleaning animal filth and. Talk to our visitors. Is, are these not the visitors? Oh. What kind of um, deal we got going on here? Hmm. This is a weird trader thing. Uh, let's see. What would they have to sell? A shitty face mask, a breech axe, herbal medicine, which we've got way too much of. Like, this is how many we have. Uh, okay, they're not super interesting to um, trade with, but I think when they leave, they'll give us a gift. Yeah, whenever, they're, whenever they decide to leave, they will leave us a gift. We're refilling the donkey food. We could probably use this with meat to create kibble to make even more food. Cause I think it's uh. Let me look at the at kibble here. I believe you use like. Let's make one kibble so we can see how much stuff is used. Okay, cool. Okay, looks like it's 20 of each. <laughs> Alright, uh, thanks for the uranium, bud. Ooh. Our first bit of double strand came in. That's actually pretty exciting. How about you go fetch that uranium there, friend? <laughs> Alright, how much kibble was made? Yeah, you can use, you can use, um, humans can eat it, but they really, really don't like it. Oh, no. Yeah, you can, you can survive off kibble and use, like, meat and hay to just, like, make a bunch of just technically food. Technically, it's food. I mean, a normal meal, like one of these uh, fine meals, has 0.9 nutrition. So if you had like 18 kibble, that you can fill your belly up completely. Mmm. Wouldn't it be the worst to make a bunch of kibble out of all this hay? Because it'd give us more food value than just the hay itself. Because we can turn 20 hay and 20 meat into 50 kibble. That doesn't does that doesn't expire ever, like literally at all. So it's interesting, but we'd need a whole bunch more uh, meat for that. But if we can get a sniper rifle, that would be not a problem because we can start sniping out all these fucking predators. 
Yeah, we have a bit of a wood surplus. So I was hoping to be able to sell some of that recently, but no luck. But we have a few pieces of wood here and there. Um... Yeah, we need to get this research going. And what I could do is expand this room out a little bit more. Let's get this tree cut. Have old Bargo do that. After he He's playing with hay grass. He's gonna play poker. Quickly, Royal Flush! Royal Flush! Get him! Get his get his ass! Get the get those skill points. I've gotten her, I've gotten her shooting up from like five and some change to eight by just shooting my colonists that are doing other things with the smoke launcher. It doesn't do any damage or make anyone mad or anything, so you just kinda passively gain some free XP for like little work. Alright, as you were, I guess you're going to bed. <laughs> It's very gamey, but we're playing a game, so you might as well do do the best you can. Hmm. I might see what my roommate when my roommate wants to do food. Cause it, I just looked and it's almost 6 p.m. This game just is like a fucking black hole for time. Jesus. Um. It's just like <sighs> slurp. It, it is quite fun. I will give it when things are going right or when things are just going hilariously bad. It's a lot of fun Like a ton of fun Oh the, the, the devil strands all ready to harvest. Oh, that's exciting. You don't get a lot out of it. But what you get is really good quality stuff, like like really good insulation, really good heat resistance, good armor, really good heat armor. A lot of H. This is very strong, but it's time consuming to get the. Uh... Oh, you're just named Ann. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Mike Anarchist Mudget. <laughs> That's a hell of a name. We might we might be ending stream pretty soon though. Yeah, we'll probably be ending a stream in like, f like a few minutes. Just, I'm I'm expecting that to be the case. We'll kind of keep playing it out until then. Yeah, so far so good. We made the we made the discovery that these bone traps are much much better than these wood ones. They do twice as much damage and they penetrate armor twice as well, so they just do a lot. They're way better. And we get about extra, that lets, it's letting us kind of use up some of these bones too. Mm. 
my cat is just yelling. He's just having the time of his life, I think. Maybe. Hard to tell. He's currently on like one of the little floor scratchy things we have. Just scratching away. Oh, we got a mad gazelle. Where is that? What you doing, gazelle? Oh, it's about to be dead. Wow, the war did us a solid. This mag, this mad, this gazelle was mad or whatever. Got driven mad by like just I don't know life, I guess. And this warg's like, I'm hungry. Nom, 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 nom. And that, we can just kind of get, we can just kind of eat the leftovers. Thank you. Lady's got tattered up here. What? Your height, your padded pants. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, what's Huntsman up to? Researching? That's great, but... How about you do some mending of some random clothing that's in need of mending? off you loser <laughs> I, I had her take those pants off so they could get fixed he's just like mm, no I'm gonna put them on take up take take off the pants and nobody gets hurt <laughs> quickly fix the pants before somebody gets any funny ideas I, mean, I don't care who wear it <laughs> he's just gonna put them on immediately the shirtless wonder. <laughs> uh, do we have like a shirt? That's a union suit. He's just shirtless. Well, we could make him a t-shirt out of cloth. Uh, do we have? No, oh, there's a lot of things. Holy crap. Um, uh, uh, um. Jesus. Um, wait, which one's better? Is a t shirt or a button down shirt better? We can investigate because I think one might be slightly better. Uh, let's see. Button down shirts 4.7, 1.8. Okay, so the button down shirt is better. We'll make this out of uh, cloth. But we're going to be ending this stream now so that me and my roommate can do uh, dinner. And then after I do dinner and kind of rest a little I'll probably back to do another silly art stream uh, so let's go ahead that's a good spot to end off nothing tragic is happening other than caveman being idle I guess but yeah whatever so save quit all right sweet so that is gonna be our stream for now We'll be doing an art stream later, like I said, probably around like 6, 37, probably closer to 7 o'clock, honestly. Um, but let's see if I can find someone to raid into on good old Twitcheroo. 
let's refresh so I can make sure I can see everyone that's going live. Oh, God. Oh, hmm, compelling. Uh, let's. I usually try to raid into people that have less viewers, just because. I don't know. I feel. I think it's nice to do that for people. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 